Ladies and gentlemen, this is Commander Scobius. Welcome to Sunday. I think my green screen has moved. Hang on. Let me sort this out. Wonderful problems I've had today. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday. If you can hear me, that means your ears work. It means also that all of the updates that I've just had to endure and rewire and reconfigure are all sorted now. So that's nice. Because, uh, yes, nothing says stable systems like, oh, yeah, we just decided that all the audio is going to stop working. Yay! It's fantastic stuff. And uh, so, yes, so you can hear me. And, uh, oh, what, what's this thing? This thing that hovers above my head. It is the Lacon Type 8. Bye, my. So, uh, yes, so today... Today, we're going to have a look at the lake on Type 8, as are all the other content creators that are currently who, ha who are in the partner program. They have the lake on Type 8 as well. And uh, so we'll all be able to have um, a look at it from a different perspective. So we're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, I cheated a little bit and took it out last night, but my HOTUS wasn't working properly. So, of course, it wasn't. So I wasn't able to get a full... Um, full idea of what it's like though so we'll, we'll we'll get a good feel for it today so let's see if we've got spooky how you do matey funky pixie tara carvo 7 to you connor how you do mate you're in here with me say hello connor i can't I, hear you. Oh. not no. right he's disappeared all right hey, Jan. <laughs> Oh, went to mute. How you do, matey? Uh, Jan's in here. Back this evening to you. Bro7 to you. Loot as well. How you do, mate? Kira Kinchi 7 j 26 How you do, mate? If well, 9 to you. Uh, Black Knight, how are you doing? Ethnification. Greetings to you as well, my friend. And who else? Oh, Echo Sparks. How you doing as well? 7 And Spooky, thank you for the sub. My goodness. 70 months, seven zero, seven zero months. My goodness. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Thank you for that so it's much. Like robbery with a salt sentence he's done there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And uh, let's see, who else we got? Um, oh, Bill Schmidt, how you doing as well? Uh, yes, Mal. Um, Star Citizen looking very different today. It is. And uh, Astronautica Mutant. Uh, mut mutante. Thank you for the follow. Hope I didn't get that wrong. I probably did. I'm wearing um, these glasses uh, today. I would normally be wearing my other glasses, which are better for screen work. But on Thursday, I had a little bit of a nap. And, and I was wearing my glasses at the time. And I rolled over and I didn't realise oh, no. that I'd crushed them. <laughs> they just fell off and I crushed them. Uh... Oh my goodness! What was that? What was that? Uh, the um, my orange industrial glasses. I don't have orange. Tragic blue. Thank <laughs> you for the sub. Thirty-seven months. My goodness! Thank you so much. Oh dear. Uh, they they have a bit of orange on them, I suppose. They do have a bit of orange. They yes. They they match your headphones. They do. Well, that's good then. That's good. Your farming mats while watching. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm, everybody settle in, get your drinks. I've got some orange juice today and some water. Uh, I, I'm not drinking any alcohol today. I had too much of that yesterday. Really? <laughs> um, so on, on Wednesday... Hush now. On Wednesday... <laughs> <laughs> when, Wednesday, uh, I should have done a stream, you know, a random game stream. I was going to do No Man's Sky, but I had some bad news at work. Um, effectively, um, my job is at risk. So, wonderful. I have to interview for my own job on Tuesday. So that's a thing that's happening. I thought I was done with interviews after contracting, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's have a look at this Type 8, shall we? So we've seen we've seen the video, the footage from the outside. I mean, it looks very nice. Uh, thank you, Bacchus. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, I will. So it's got two arms sticking out in front. Which um, are that the, are they nacelles? What do you call them if they're sticking that, out in front? That's a good number of arms to have, really. Two, so nacelles are at the back, good. aren't they? So that's like your star your starship um, Enterprise sticking out. What makes a nacelle as opposed to? arms 
I shall I shall look into that for you. Uh, so I don't know if you remember when we saw the initial video for this, I said, oh, it needs greasing up a little bit because it's a little bit too clean and shiny. Well, it looks like they've done that. It looks quite nice. They've got lots of details in here now. So they're taking a leaf out of um, Star Citizen's book, I think, and they, they've gone in with the shaders. So these these dots here, they won't be part of the geometry. They'll be part of... Um, uh, of the, the, there'll be a shader parameter. And they've got lots of nice little bits of text here. That's I like this. I like all, all this nice little detail. Oh, we've got lit. So we've got illuminated things for uh, grab rails. And grabbies, yes. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I do like this. What is this? This looks like an airlock. It does look a lot like an airlock, doesn't it? Yes. And this is like the heat sinks. This is a very pretty model. Whoever they've got now for doing these models is doing a very good job. Well done. Um, I think that this has been worked on for some time. I, I'm interested to see what the next one uh, is going to be. Oh, I'll take a look at that in a minute, uh, Wintermute. I might have to buy it, but we'll see. Uh, uh, these engines are lovely. There's... I'm sure every other streamer has uh, shown you these, but every other streamer is not me, are they? <laughs> so this is very pretty. I like some of these details in here. This needs scuffing up a little bit, I think. But uh, There's only so much detail that you can actually um, use reliably. Oh, yeah. Um, but you know, this is way more complex than the models that um, we normally work with. interesting to see if those um, uh, thrusts... Oh, thrust flanges at the back there glow red like with the others when they fly oh we'll soon see because we'll, we'll take it out in a, in a little bit mm. we'll take it out for a fly um so i picked this up last night so i installed it last night and picked it up and took it out for a little fly just to see what it was like and i'm impressed but obviously uh we'll give it a proper rundown today what's going on here these are damaged this is a brand new ship so the, this is the landing gear nice very vibrant um, no, that's just yellow there. hydraulic uh, pressure valves isn't it yeah is it? Well, it looks like yeah. they're second hand <laughs> well you know uh we have a ramp <laughs> crumpet toast assessment can we go up the ramp oh oh, oh. Twin orange paint sprayers yes you can right up to the door oh my god that's a, that's a knock on the door that's <laughs> good for shots it's also well sized as well Yes, the ramp is correctly sized, and it, you can walk up it as a person. You can walk up it as a person, so I don't have to do CGI on it? Yeah, um, no. Burr did, and people were saying, Oh, yeah, people, there's, people there's got no very blue. confused with this video. There's, there's no blue circle. How? How? <laughs> and it's because basically Rini was shooting it, so Rini couldn't see the blue circle. Ah, it <laughs> sees um, the shot. But yeah. it was there. Well, that just goes to show and that the you, level of interest you can in that. walk up the thing, for real. Yeah. Well, let's take a look inside the cockpit. All right, so we'll we'll have a look inside. So let's get to one of the... Okay, I'm getting serious Type 7 vibes There's here. a lot. It, it's In fact, that's a hybrid of a Type 7 and a Type 9 cockpit. It literally is. Because the Type 7 has got the two little uh, It's DJ got these, yeah, booths. these DJ booths, exactly. Yeah, so we've got the DJ booths, and then uh, we've got this extended gantry yeah, over the top. Yeah, you get in the T9. So, but sadly, we can't move the camera around inside of here. What's that on, the, on there? So it's as far as I can zoom in there. It's like on panels, yeah. And that's yeah. a standard like on door. Yes. Well, it's, okay, so it's basically a Type 7 interior. And I don't mind. Yeah. Type sevens are. Uh, it always freaks me out when you see the interior of these things for these cameras because you think, "Oh God, it's the size of a bloody house." Yeah. <laughs> the cockpit is. You know, oh, they are huge massive. Empty space. So let's, let's use the, the um, Toby Icebreaker and have a good look around. So, yeah. It's I mean, makes you fine. wonder what kind of leakage these things have because if your life support <laughs> runs out. There's a damn sight more than 10 minutes oxygen in that yeah. room. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let's turn that back off. Okay, so what's that? The crumpet toasters on the other side uh, misaligned. 
It makes your eyes well, twitch. They're, they're nested. They're nested in the crumpet toasters. They're, they're, you can see them as well on the front there. Mm. On oh, your... I see what you're saying. I see what you're yeah. saying. Oh, right. wait, the nacelle, by the way, is um, a streamlined container for aircraft parts such as engines, fuel, or equipment. When attached so... to the outside of the airframe, it is sometimes called a pod. And its derivative is French from the word for a small boat. So, yeah, not sticky out arms on the front. So they're arms then? Is that what we're saying? Yes, yes, arms. All right, I'm going to fly us to Daisy Seats. Or should I try and... Because this is what... I'm, I'm currently at Jameson, so we're, we're in... Um, where is it? Are you, are you going to get out and walk up the ramp first? Oh, yes, actually. Oh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can walk up the ramp and see what that looks like. All right, so there's the ship. So we're up at the thing. So there's the ramp. Can I go up the thing? Can I go up? Hello! Let me in and put your groceries. Yeah, we can we can awesome. go in. This is what it should be. We shouldn't have that thing. My in yeah. my humble. We mm -hmm. shouldn't have this. We should go up there um, and have a I I don't know, Bob. I don't recall being able to walk right up to the door in others. No, the other ones you can't. Mm. There's usually Mr. Invisible Wall gets in the Hopefully way. they're getting retrofitted. That would be really nice if they do that. It would, yeah. All right, I'm going to get back in. Well, you know, ship. this is the first ship where you can walk up the ramp. Yes. Just saying. Well, one data <laughs> point is not... You can't draw conclusions from yeah, that. Yeah, but why... Why make it that way instead of making it like all the others? Don't know. We've we've fallen for this before, though. The Mamba this had a true. really nice cockpit and got a living area down the back, which you could only see from VR. So we all thought, oh, we're going to get the ability to walk around inside the ship. And then it didn't happen. Yeah, so, let's not speculate. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to fly this. Well, first of all, let's go to Star Starport Services. Okay. Take this ship to Cuba. Well, I'm going to see Are what you the paint Give it some like. kidding out. Um, well, so I've got the Type 8 here. Um, but do I have access to the other one with the arcs thingy? Because I think I do. Pre-built ships. Do I have access to the the fully dubri one? What are you implying there, Spooky? Spooky says you need a docking computer. Uh, he's not implying anything. Docking computers are really useful for streamers. Mm -hmm. No, they are. They're very good for the external shots. So. Hey, Starlass! Greetings to the United Kingdom. How are you doing? Vehicle extras. Is that what we need to look at then? It should be in the shipyard if you have access to it. Right. Well, I, I have access to the... Well, okay. Let's see. So, in shipyard... Um, so I've got my Type 8 here. Uh, these were both... What is this? Vulture and Beluga Liner. That's not a Beluga Liner. With the same icon. This, this Unless you have a Vulture called something Beluga Liner. <laughs> so there is supposed to be a yeah. new Vulture and Beluga Liner um, ah. pre-built. Oh, okay. But I guess they've got the Beluga Liner logo on there. Ah, just placeholders. Right, so this is the Type 8. That's the red one. Uh, yeah, the red the red one, I believe, is the upgraded one. Right. Um, Let's use that it, one. It is also Ooh. incredible skill sometimes. The engine's oh, moved. It is. I because, saw that. Uh, in ye old days, before uh, the shot murderer was corrected, the, the black camera when you go through anything. We had to position cameras and, and fly with fixed camera that way. Mm. So, yes, we did originally. But it is a lot easier. Right. Than the, than the so, so you say this is very Chris Foss. I'm seeing this is very Thunderbirds. It's got Thunderbird 8 on the side. It's Thunderbird 8, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. It, it is. It, yeah, it's... It's a 50-50 job. I don't know why it needs to have race, <laughs> racing checkers on it. Unless it's... Uh, well, why not? I like this. I like this. It I is, believe it's, it's called the Hornet Stripe. Okay. 
Hey, Flop. How you doing, mate? That's quite Come good. Well, let's, let's see what it's got built in. So we'll go to um, outfitting and let's take a look. So when you get this one, because obviously they're doing the same thing that they had with the um, Python Mark II. So was it the 9th of August? It's going to be... 7th of August. 7th of August. Okay, so just before um, we start going to ECM. So the 7th of August, that's next week. Um, that they'll drop the update and you'll be able to pre-buy with ARCs this ship. But, good news is, the Python Mark II is available for everybody to buy with credits, with in-game credits. So, mm. so that's the way that they're doing these now. And to be honest, it's a, it's a neat way of making some money for the company. And we want them to make money because we want them to keep the game going. So let's, so that, that this is a good thing. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to. Um, it's all about if you want to get access early. So let's take a look at this. Um, so what we've got. So on the hard points, it's got some multi cannons and stuff. I haven't fitted this out. I've not touched this. Uh, utility, heat sinks, okay, point defenses, shield booster. Uh, so then 5A power plant, 5A thrusters. These aren't engineered though. Uh, 5A uh, SCO frameshift drive, um, so 3D live support. Okay, that's all fine. Power distributor 4A. So this is basically what you would build if, yeah, if you were doing a, a solid build. loadout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then what we've got? So so okay. So it's got more cargo space. Lots of cargo space. I'm expecting this to be a really good mining ship, to be honest. So uh, they've got a five shield in it. Yeah, and it's got an advanced docking computer already. So, yes, it's got a, uh, where is it, a class 5 shield yeah. currently in it. So you might want to... You could, you could sacrifice cargo space to have an insanely large one, but... It's got fuel scoop as well. Mm. Doesn't have doesn't have a... Uh, I don't think you could put a fighter in here. But let's let's just take this as stock from the shop. Uh, let's take it out and see what we can do with it. See how, see how it flies. Excited, excited... Like I say, I took I took it out um, last night um, just to get a bit of a feel for it, and my controls were wonky, so I didn't really get a good feel for it. So this is kind of first impressions with certainly with this variant as well. Ooh, let's take a look at this as it's taking off. Ooh, it's nice. Oh, the engines did the thing. <laughs> Oh, I like them engines. What do you think? They go surprisingly well with that black and white check, actually. They do. <laughs> they do. That's nice. It looks like Thunderbird, Thunderbird 2. No, Thunderbird 1 from this angle. It did look very nice, 3, against the uh, planet there. Hmm. Let's have a look with it going away from the station. I can't not think it's Thunderbirds <laughs> now. Five, four. There are, it's like two Thunderbird ones strapped together. Yeah. Eight, what? <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, so it rolls all right. What's its... Uh, Pitch isn't too clever. Oh, oh, and I do have... Let's have that set to um, mid-throttle. So the pitch isn't brilliant. Uh, the roll's all right. Oh, what, let's have a look about the yaw. Yaw's all right. Oh, that is quite nippy. Yeah. Actually. Yaw's all right. So let's let's fly through the, through the rings of the station. See how, see how... See what it sounds like when we boost it. If I can find the damn station, there's the station. Yeah, might be just a little bit faster than the Thunderbird one. It is fast, Ooh. you're for an elite ship, but we've sacrificed the pitch for it. That's interesting. It's the opposite um, flight mechanic. Hmm. That boost sound is nice. It's got all sorts of things whirring on and off. Oh, let's have some. See where we're going. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. 
see, uh, see how nimble this is. Oh, I like this. This goes where you point it. This goes exactly where you point it. That, yes, it is, isn't it? Pitching your um, and watch the engines. Okay, pitching your watch the engines. Oh. Uh, okay, so let's go from outside. Light assist on. I'll uh, line it with the ship there. Oh, do. I've got flight assist off. Well, let's get around to the sublicate thrust thrusts and see what they do. They open out. Yes, indeedy. So they don't gimbal or anything, but I do like the. Uh, I like the, the fact that you've got these. What are they called? The direct. They move. They move. Uh, thrust thrust vector they, they do when you slow down if you speed up the open no out. when you when try your one step pitch and your maybe try yeah they move well that might be the camera never mind it's the camera <laughs> it's the camera it's but the, the camera. i do like that they open out when you when you uh full throttle yeah when you're full throttle so so if you go half throttle they go halfway, so I can control that. It's very nice. All right, so let's get ourselves to Daisy Sitz. So don't might, need to do anything. It might else. not be the camera, actually. No. It's difficult to tell. Let's see. Oh, what's the, um, the the basic jump range with an unengineered but A-rated uh, ship? Um, where was it? Is it here? Nope, it's on the ship thing, isn't it? Uh, so, so all right, so twenty-five light years. That's not bad. That's unengineered but A-rated. Yeah. You, you're pretty sure that there's some thrust vectoring going on. Not much, but it does look like they move. Look at that later on. So what happened? I think there's also now? there's <laughs> also some movement if you put down your landing gear, I believe. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll find a planet we can do that on. So we're gonna fly towards Daisy Seats and we'll watch it land and stuff. So I want there is a place I want to see if we can get to with the um, SCO drive in its current form. All right, so I like that, that you can see those uh, glowing uh, heat sinks. It's an interesting uh, design though, that they've, they've got them, uh, some of them in front and some of them behind. Don't know if that would be particularly, this is nimble. Like you've, been buying, you've been flying too many big ships. But, and Super Cruises is really nimble. It does an X-wing type of thing. When you let raise and load the landing gear, I'll take a look. It's the best handling SEO ship in the game too. Apparently, we'll find out. Because the Python Mark II is pretty good in SEO. That's really good. How many jumps have we got? Oh, that still won't tell me how many jumps we got left. Yeah, the Python Mark II is a really good ship. But now it's available to everybody, or will be next week. Along with a whole bunch of other things that are, are coming next week. Um, so, some engineering changes. Yeah, they have made it easier to get mats. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. And they've made... They've taken out the randomness of engineering. 
Right, so it'll always give you the same. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes because um, I would like to see um, like item quality become a factor, but I don't know if they'll ever do that. But it might be if they're always going to have the same amount per item, then it makes sense that you could get other items which are twice as good, which will give you double the return. Because the randomness based on... Randomness is always, in games, is always there to help simulate complex systems. Because you don't always need to simulate um, like uh, things down to the tiniest detail when a, when random will do. Like, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, like in games, if you've got like a, a faulty fluorescent light, you just have a random number generator and say, oh, too close. Oops. Oh, that turned in quick. Do you see that? So you have a random number generator just saying whether the light is on or off. And you don't you don't uh, simulate the the electrons being excited inside the gas. Because that's too much, so you have a random number generator instead. Sufficiently complex systems are indistinguishable from randomness. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So why go to the lengths of simulating when a couple of if statements in a random number generator can do the thing. So in this situation, it's like random. In other situations, it's like a sine wave. Okay, well, if this situation, random. Otherwise, sine wave. <laughs> All right. So. The issue with the randomness in the engineering is that a lot of people have to go and when they go and get their mats, they ha they like to mark down what they need and mm -hmm. what they need to get and stuff like that. And you can't do that when it's random. You just have to sort of, oh yeah, I probably need this much, but it might not work. So that that was the, What's the thing? mindset behind changing that. Go, go, go. Oh, let's see how it does its heat. Well, you've cooked it. Yeah, but the windows uh, have got like um, frost around them for some reason. So you fitted my, an SEO on Explorer Conda, uh, turned through frame 50 boost, and then fell asleep. 30 minutes later, 1% fuel. Oh now, dear. Now, hull at 1%, fuel gone. Warning, hull breach attack. Taking eternal damage. It's fine. Yeah. Have I got heat sinks? Did I put heat sinks on this? Not that I recall. Yes, it has some. Uh... Oh, there it was. Arg. There, it's on, on there. Alexander Corman, how you do, mate? Right, so I've got the fuel. I took a little bit of damage from overheating next to a star. That was on me. That was my bad. <laughs> oh, we're heading towards this. This is now. Uh, we are getting some SEO induced uh, fuel rescues, oh, I, I bet. Yeah. It's, yes. I bet you are. Four, three, two, one, right, so I'm going to go from here to a place called Bella Cabunda, and I want to try and fly to the, the closest station to the star. About that. And uh, let's see if this ship can do it in one go. Because this is this will make some of those really distant um, locations viable, won't it? Yeah. All right, got that. So let's go over there. So we're not going to worry about Ellis Gateway for now. Just going to go to I think I think it's in this list, Bella Cabunda. Where are you, Bella Cabunda? Otherwise, I search for it. It's uh, about 90 away from there. Bella Cabunda, 15 light years. Uh oh. Oh, you're not where you were at, of course. All right, so, so. So, some commanders hitting boosts, not understanding what's happening, and not knowing how to turn a CO off. <laughs> Frame shift drive charging. More on that later. I am hoping to get um, my new video completed this week. Hoping. 
it is it is uh, dependent on um, other factors. But um, if I can get it done for um, the ECM, then I'm hoping that uh, I might be able to preview it there. But I'll have to talk to the organizer, see if I can premiere it there. But if not, it will be available as soon as it can be. We're really, really close, really close to getting the new one out, the new video out. It's taken far longer than I thought. Um, also, on the video front news, um, I've been working with Infoil. We've got a new video um, in the works right now. And you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. Right, so this is 327,000 light seconds away. Oh, yes, there is going to be uh, much, much magic in the works. Absolutely. All right, so we're currently flying at 11 times the speed of light. Well, that's not good enough. Let's try and get there a little bit faster, shall we? And let's see how it drifts. I'll take my hands off the throttle and everything, and we'll just go for it. All other ships wibble about all over the place. Let's see what this one does. Hands are up. It's hardly drifting at all. And we are currently at 1,700, 1,800. We're at 70% heat right now. That's next to nothing. And I'll fire off a heat sink. How's my fuel? Doing okay? Fire off a heat sink. This is butter smooth. Right, so we're currently... All right, so we've knocked 100,000 light seconds off of that. My goodness. And uh, all, all I'm doing is, like, my, my other hand is here, put it on my head. There we go. Warning. Temperature critical. I'll fire off another heat sink. There we go. Right, I'll, I'm going to turn a little bit towards, Bella, towards Morgan Orbital. This is nuts. This is nuts! 4,500 times the speed of it's, light! It's holding very steady. Very steady. Very, very steady. And um, we've used half a fuel tank doing this. We're at 16,000, 13,000 times the speed of uh, look, light seconds. 10,000 light seconds, slowing down. I started off with a full tank. So 320,000 light seconds, by the way, is 0 0.01 of a light year. So <laughs> there you go. That's not bad. You've done 100 light all. year in just, uh, just a few seconds. Really. Not bad at all. Not, oh, not bad. It's a 5C, I think, tank. Oh, I'm having to slow down quite a lot. But this takes a long time to get here normally. Yeah. And worth half a tank because you can just refuel when you get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I hope that this is going to make trading useful. Especially if they put in that the value of the goods that um, you're selling there are dependent on the distance from the start. That will make these long journeys viable. Otherwise, there's no point. Well, you get these these uh, courier jobs and things where they say, oh, there's a mm -hmm. bonus for getting there early. And you got the Easter egg, you yes, in that bag. absolutely. Nailed it. <laughs> that was the, bo fast. the bonus would certainly pay for the fuel and, and beyond. Yeah. yeah. That was so fast. I can't believe that. Mm. that 4,500 times the speed of light, though. That's nuts. <laughs> It's absolutely nuts. What's that in Star Trek terms? What warp level is that? I don't know. I can't remember what the scale is. I and mean, warp one is supposed to be light speed, but beyond is that, it, I don't like, know. It's one point five, is it, Spooky? Spooky would know. Yeah. The Enterprise really does shift, then, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was clad speed. What's that? Oh, you're just guessing. Spooky's right. <laughs> oh, hey, empty. <laughs> Plat. Yeah, yeah, it's plaid speed. <laughs> I and mean, we're still doing, I mean, it's a decent speed, but. That was 
was nuts. So well, they, it, they never could make their minds up in trust. <laughs> well, they did a. Um... They were just randomly making things up in trust. Hmm. How are we liking the new ship? So far, I'm loving it. Alpha, loving it Charlie. right now. Right, so we're going to request docking. Commander. I'll slow down. Let's get outside. And let's watch this from a distance. Let's have a look at these engines, see what they do. Let's see if they move as it turns. Because they're currently not moving apart from the the whatever they they use whatever they call it for the vector it's not vectoring is it it's it's just no 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 but what 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 they're doing with this is you're changing the, the shape oh, of the nozzle yes oh uh, yeah there's a name for that the shape of it rather than direction yeah yeah it there is a I'm not going to so after googling it would be Warp 9.96. Is that the old or the new? Oh, so th they <laughs> came in? Uh -huh. I do not know. That is what Google says. Look, the, the things go down? Yes. Flappy bits, whatever those are. When did the when did the what's it ramp come down? Uh, oh. After landing, I believe. Oh, very tricky to get a shot of that one. Mm. Oh, I, we'll do it using the auto thing. Yes, so that if if you have the ship kit, that moves as well. That they need to do more of that. I love that. So that, I think this is part of the ship kit. These wings, wingy jobs, and that that moved. Uh, with you and your pro community being the best ones the community the players <laughs> I know, I've got a question you could settle oh, for God. me. Of course. <laughs> yes, um, that's that's never an omen. <laughs> uh, bring your question forth and I shall attempt to uh, to uh, answer it for you. That's a suddenly need a 30 Flight assist on right? or off? Depends what you're doing. Like... In general, on. You turn faster with flight assist off. Um, you can you can do more. So like you're you're constantly fighting the flight assist system when you're flying. So if you if you want to turn faster, you can briefly turn it off if you want, and then you'll turn faster and then you go off in the other direction. Mm. Hey, alien hunter. Uh, so all, you'll see you'll see. Well, you it is strafing. Sometimes. You can strafe with mm. it off. But I, I just overcompensate always with flight off. Yeah. I just, I can't do it. Like, there, there are some commanders who fly exclusively with flight assist off, mm. and that's fine. They, they. Oh, brother Sabathius, if you want to see, if you want to see some masterwork, oh, flight yes. assist off, brother Sabathius and so on. Oh, like air brakes. Oh my God! So, so they're attached to whatever they were. So what we thought was an airlock, it's. Oh. It's not. It's like a big hinge. It's like a wing hard point. Yeah. A wing hard point. That's crazy. I like this. This is a great design. All right. Well, let's try it. There could be selective air brakes, those things. It could be. They don't look very aer aerodynamic. Well, that's the point with an air brake. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so... I, I do a mixture of both. I do flight assist on and off. Uh, if I'm if I'm doing fast turns, oh. then I'll turn flight assist off, and then I'll. Um... Well, this has just been in the middle of the most heated argument I've ever seen over flight assist. I want to know what the real community <laughs> thinks of it. It's mixed bag. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. It's not on or off. You well, yeah. I... mo mo most people who use flight assist off will use it just for like a really big turn or. Mm -hmm. Most people that, just um, do like a hybrid. In a few mm -hmm. years back, Colo challenged herself to basically just fly flight assist off, and then she just never went back after that. Mm. She's always never turned it on. 
always on. But it, it doesn't make you a worse pilot if you have flight assist um, on all the time. Phase two, yes. Um, I'm. I just. I can't get the hang of it because I. I always overcompensate, and that's just my way. So I just leave it on. I almost never turn flight assist off, except when I'm flying something like a, uh, a Type 9, and I want to get it to turn to face the station entrance yeah, so, quicker, and I'll so for this, once it's there, and then turn it back on. So for this, if I if I try and... T you see how fast it's rotating like that? I've got full speed on right now, so... so if, if I put it on half speed, and I, I'll, I'll just do that, right? So you'll see how fast it's turning, how fast it's pitching up. If I do flight assist off... It turns a bit faster. See what I mean? And just, it's, a, it's, the same, it's the just same for roll. So you, you'll roll faster with flight assist off. Now turn it on. It's just marginally faster, that's all. Uh, flight assist off and I leave it to the gods. Yes. <laughs> just continue struggling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I, I like it. For, for like if I'm doing a, a, a big turn so if I'm going forwards and I want to go back I'll turn on flight assist off I'll, I'll reduce my speed so that I get in, in the blue zone and then I'll flight assist on again to correct me so otherwise because because otherwise if you leave it off and you push put that like you just end up doing this <laughs> you can just end up just spinning around if you're not careful yeah which is great for certain camera purposes when you want certain mm -hmm. shots of ships oh, yeah. to drift which is actual nonsense, because if your ship was just adrift, it would just be sitting there in space, not doing anything. But we make films, and so we make it roll around in space dramatically. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not what it would do. So this is what it looks like when Oh, just... I, I, I think you might have a raid. Oh my goodness. Brothers and Badiers, welcome on in. Everybody grab a chair. We're looking at a Type 8, and I'm sure that that's what you were just doing before as well. Bring your 300 friends along with you. <laughs> yes, everyone grab a chair, grab a chair, get some snacks and things. We get, we look at things from a, a different perspective, like Brother Sabathis shows you how to do things properly. I show you how to do things not properly. And thank you for the follow, Jericho. Thank you for that follow. That's, that's really kind. Um, so, Brother Sabathis, how are you getting on? Are you enjoying the Type 8? I'm loving the stylings of it. I think it's really cool. Uh, uh, Z Z oh, Zitakia, thank you for the follow as well. That's really nice. It's like really a sheathen ship rolling around like that. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Uh, it's lights on. We haven't tested the lights. We didn't have a look at that. No. Your chair is sticky. What? What? Uh, okay. Night World. <laughs> well, come on in. Thank you I for hope, the follow I hope that's there. A, a casual link with the time, oh, if, if... Not, a, not a causal one. <laughs> <laughs> Kasixbai. K-thanks-bye. yes. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I've been an idiot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Brain uh, getting old. Yes, that's what it is. It's left on 45. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. There's, there's so many of you. Um, yes. So, yes. Uh, so, who yeah. am I said? Um, uh, B Cosmic, thank you for the follow as well. I see it in my list here and it hasn't quite come up, on, come up on the screen yet. But thank you again. Thank you so much to everyone for coming on in. Um, hopefully, the, um, you will be entertained. Um, Blue Delight, thank you for the follow as well. Let's let's stick this back on. Much to Brother Sabathia's chagrin. What says flight assist on nonsense? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if there's a yeah, toxic blaze thank you for the follow as well all right let's see if there's a, uh, let's see if there's a planet around here no there isn't it's just this one planet oh we can go to there it's got an atmosphere that's we'll, that's why no you can't land there, there you, see. you can't land there why can't i land no, there no not on that one. Oh, sorry mate you can't land mm -hmm. there i want to <laughs> land there all right we'll go back to uh i know it's not compulsory it's it's it is a thing. It's just like a parking sensor. It's it's a uh, automatic gears, whatever you want, you know. You know when you when I drive my car, I manually tap when I want the fuel to uh, be injected. <laughs> use an use an energy <laughs> engine management uh, computer. Oh, I don't think so. I've got a little clicker. <laughs> I'm on my second thumb. 
<laughs> oh, I've got to stretch, all right? Oh, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Why, Frontier? Well, it's the camera thing, isn't it? Yeah, because if you're using the camera uh, and and you move the camera around, then um, it will also affect your throttle, which is a nightmare. All right, I've got to stretch. All right, got to do some stretching. Do some stretching. Oh, my goodness, making me do stretchy works. Can I, can I reach there again now? Oh. I, I never could. Never yeah, could I that. got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. Then, as I say, my shoulders sound Ooh. like a bag of broken biscuits. So <laughs> That's a horrible thought. Uh, got it. True. Do my hands. Oh, I've never been able to get that all the way back. So, how much is the new Type 8? Um, well, it will be a number of arcs. I don't know quite how much it is yet. This is a preview build. So the um, the Frontier Partners get access to this. Um, it's going to be out next week. I don't know quite how many arcs it's going to be, though. Uh, but the good news is the Python Mark II is available for everyone. And the same thing will happen to this as well. So um, you'll get the, the Type 8 will be available in a couple of months' time, just like the Python was. I've got to do... So if the if the type 8 is the same as the python in terms of arcs mm -hmm. the base python oh gosh where was it base python will be 16,520 arcs and then the upgraded one will be 33,000 arcs if it's the same but we don't right and at perfect thank you for that raid everyone's raiding like and it was when i got a mouthful of water <laughs> It's just typical. They, they time it. You know, <laughs> they do. They it's do. like waiting. So, right, Scorb's got a mouthful of water. Let's go do that. We're just, we're just watching. How you doing, buddy? Get, hit the countdown. Yeah. yeah, that's that's it. So, where can I land then? Let's loading simulation. Uh, so, any of these? Well, let's pick one that's really far away. Let's go to the furthest away one that we can. This guy, and we'll we'll, we'll land there. That guy. Oh no, how far away is it? It's right behind us as well. Have I broken it yet? Not yet. I'm mightily impressed by it at the moment. I right, so singed it on a star. Star one. Oh, I did that a bit, yeah. <laughs> it's only a thousand light seconds away. Well, that's, we, we need to get there faster. Uh, okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Look how fast this thing is, it's insane. Uh, so we just took this out um, to Bella Cabunda and flew out to Morgan Orbital, which is 300 um, yeah, light seconds. Yeah. And it aced it. Half a tank of fuel. Half a tank of fuel. Yeah. Two heat sinks. That's all I needed. Just absolutely nuts. So I say, if you were doing a courier delivery mission and they offered you a bonus, mm -hmm. the bonus would more than pay for the fuel and the heat sink to get Oh, yeah. There. But then again, you could sell a packet of biscuits in this game and pay for fuel. Fuel's nothing. Uh, yeah, there is that. <laughs> oh, has he got... He's run uh, non-stop. Non-stop. Wow. <laughs> How many heat sinks did he get through? And did he put extra fuel tanks in? I think yeah, that's... you've got to put extra fuel tanks in for that. Definitely. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's gonna make the Hutton run like. Oh, what do you mean? It's like really far away. <laughs> yeah, extra fuel and sinks. Yeah. Yeah. There You'd have to. You'd have to. Yeah. But I mean, amazing that it can do it. And that would help as well. A nice low emission plant. See, they're all over this. Yeah. You yeah, see, they're, they're all not, over this. They know what they're doing. <laughs> see, you need to reduce your heat do that if you need to do uh, see this is way above my pay grade when it comes to like engineering uh, uh, but i guess i guess it's a thing that's been on people's minds especially with the thargoid war if you're doing cold orbiting of the of the thargoids you want us to be able to keep your heat under control as much as possible so that will be a thing people have been um considering but i want to see how this flies well, for me, the bottom line decision is <laughs> I want to be able to get out of trouble faster than I got in. <laughs> uh, you only get the free anaconda if you don't use SCO. If you don't use that, right. <laughs> this should be able to land there, though. This is a medium ship. Yeah. So, um, un unlike the... Uh... Orbital 
the Anaconda of the Type 9. You remember back in the day when we did those videos? Oh, yeah, that was... I was watching the, um, the Christmas one mm -hmm. the other day. From Elite Christmas with uh, you and Machine out at Hudden. That was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's that? I'll be all fed up making it so that you fly to Hutton in a stock side on it. You get the Anaconda uh, bobblehead. Oh, oh, that would be fantastic! Oh, yes! Uh, here's absolutely. your free Anaconda, and, it, and it's uh, a bobblehead. Stock side on But That's if you can brilliant. make it in a stock side, they, because they the told fuel, me to do that. Terakoff will tell you that. <laughs> Have you got the fuel in the stock side on to make it to Hutton? Well, they could just say. It's a, it's stock as in no engineering. True. Oh, you could put another. Tank in. I mean, that would be great. You do just right. <laughs> well yeah. worth it then. Oh, that that would be absolutely brilliant if they could do that. Because they to, do we, they do we, it for other things. About that, yeah. <laughs> but it would give. It is a, such a long-standing thing. It's yeah. like since the game started. It's like a ten-year-old joke. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yes, that one uh, that should be a thing. Oh, you hope no one blocks the pad when you get there. How does this ship... So we're not in um, glide anymore. Just that looks glider. very flat and shiny down there. Mm. Well, I'm going to see La how it Lava goes. Lava outflow, is it? Basalt sea. It's possible not unless you prepare for the run. What? Mm. I think Frontier should listen to this, because uh, that's a fantastic <laughs> thing. It is. You go to Hot Norbital in a stock sidewinder and you get your free anaconda and it's just like a, a dinky toy anaconda brilliant that little bobblehead it says hutton on it it would be funny if they just do that silently yeah I mean, we just we just get like reports of yeah. it being true and no one actually knows if everyone is just like messing with them or a t-shirt for your odyssey commander that says i flew <laughs> <laughs> oh they need to do stuff like that like star citizens done stuff they like do. that lousy t-shirt a real snake. Yes, there you go. What's this? It's an anaconda, mate. <laughs> this is nimble. That is pretty damn good, actually. This is really nimble. I mean, obviously, we haven't got any canyons here. If you had an SRV, I'd suggest you shoot a couple rocks and see if they've increased the payouts for engineering. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. I don't know if that's in this particular build. That might be. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Brother Smithies might know that one. Because, uh, I think it is, yeah. How low am I? Ooh. That really is black basalt, isn't it? It's not black and shiny and flat. Oh, you haven't tried that yet. <laughs> this is so forgiving. Like that, this that is, is really forgiving. Ship. It's really nimble. Yeah. yeah, I'm liking this. I think for gameplay, this could become my number one ship, but I'm not giving up my great bridge. <laughs> <laughs> then again, you see, we could use this and put a couple of people in the uh, the DJ boxes at the back. The DJ yeah, we could. Just right, stand so I'm gonna, there. Let's see what this looks like on the auto land. So it's going to slow down and land itself. We're the towers, how you doing, buddy? I know, Beetlejude was like the best. <laughs> the Beetlejude sound kit. <laughs> <laughs> it should be available as an add on. Oh, it should be. <laughs> uh, lower the landing gear. Oh, look at that. The engines go down. Uh, that comes down. So the. Okay, so the yep. front ramp is down. As it Already, comes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, me too, Wheel of Towers. I'm so looking forward to it. So it sucks up the rear engines. It's a Thunderbird. Right. It's Thunderbird Eight. 
It certainly is. So it's only got a tiny little feet at the back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just yeah, just to protect the engines. We don't know at the moment, Arcane. We don't know fully, but it's probably going to be about the same price as about the Python Mark II. sixteen and a half thousand. Is what we're speculating. Mm. Looks like it's got the same powerful lights as the other big ships there. Mm. It's really nice. I, I'm, I'm loving these wings on the side. That's part of the ship kit. Mm. I thought we said no speculating. Well, we, we, we can know. speculate about <laughs> that, can't we? Oh, that's my microphone. So that, don't worry about that. It's not Peter. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's let's get outside. And uh, we'll disembark. Let's have a look at this. Yes, yeah, swap to third person so you can have a proper look. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to climb on it. All oh, right, excellent. All right, so we should be able to jump up onto that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, at the back, maybe. Yeah, don't try and jump on the. Can you buy both versions? What? the? Yeah, I think so. No, you can speculate whether you can speculate, Connor. <laughs> so this is where there we get to go. see all the other details that are on here. Oh, so if you look down, yeah, because I mean, lake ones are bubble cockpits, so yeah, you should be able to see the, the feet from there. Hmm? What's that? I saw, saw a bit of this earlier, um, and you can see the front feet growing up from the cockpit. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. And everything on the cheaper version of the Python Mark II is included in the expensive one. Uh, that, yeah, it will be. That makes sense, yes. But wait, that's not all. Act now, you also get, so yeah, it's... Mm. <laughs> so, the, the only real difference between the expensive one and the cheaper one is you get the ship kit. And the, and the paint job. And I think you get a couple of versions of it. Although, uh, I can't remember if we did for the for the Python. But, There's but so, a nice panel just above the cockpit there, isn't there? Yeah, that, that's that's a is hard that, point. Is that, ah, oh my goodness. That's a, a, a biggie, is it? Uh, might be, yeah. Yeah, but you but can all, probably you can, be a size two. You can already buy the A-rated stuff yourself, though. So, um so if you if you just want to get the ship and you don't care I was, about the ship, I was kit, thinking decals, yeah. Are it, these but... hot, 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 hot? Look like stroop surface. waffles. They it's do a bit, waffles. don't they? Yeah. This is a stroop waffle. That. That is. That's a oh, I won't point down, but need to point down. <laughs> stroop waffle. And uh, seven, yes. everybody. <laughs> Oh, what's that? So that's uh, where the front decal goes. Uh, there are moving spotlights think, uh, on the tip of the two arms that turn on uh, when you deploy landing gear. Is that, oh, is that right? So much of these little things. Mm. Yeah. And Fetal Dave, thank you for the follow there. So it is where the decal goes. I mean, that makes sense because it looks like mm. it's begging for something to be slapped on that slot. Yeah. Do we know the jump range with engineered FSDs? Oh. Unengineered with A rated, it's about 25. But, yeah, uh, um, so if your familiarity with previous unengineered ships is anything to go by... I imagine, I imagine you'll get above 50 uh, fully engineered. Um, I remember very, very well, because I went to Distant Worlds, the original Distant Worlds in it, my asp aspects was 33.1 unengineered. And you know what those things can do when they're... Mm -hmm to engineer it. But so, these are SCO drives. I think that you get more. They do get a little bit extra, yes. They are these. slightly better, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, 50 for exploring sounds about right. Let's get back inside. It's a bit, ch a bit chilly outside. Oh, highest highest um, cargo capacity. Well, you've got... This one's pretty much tricked Mostly. Out. Yeah, it, it, hmm. it's got a, a 5A shield in it. Yeah. Now, if you put that out, you get an extra 5 can't yeah, so it. it's got the shield and it's got a 5A fuel scoop. So if you imagine if you didn't want the fuel well, scoop, you yeah, get more. Yeah. But this is currently, with the fuel scoop, with the shield, 
it's got 340. Um, so, yeah. you know, it, whatever 258 or, or two five, size 5 cargo will give you, um, that's what that'll be. So if you can get to 45 plus with decent all-round loadout, man, that would be amazing. Uh, Th 374. <laughs> with the five right with, with the shield yeah. <laughs> so they've already done it all they've already done all of this that's like, an yeah. <laughs> well that means that means you can tack an extra 34 on top of that if mm. you if you ditch the shield so yeah, yeah it's, it's 406 406 unshielded with uh, and manual piloted so that's yeah. if you've just gone full on cargo. Yeah, you get that docking computer out of there. I know a couple of tons of cargo in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what's the Python's maximum or the crate? Because it's basically what you're competing oh, against because it's medium ship. I don't think the crate can ever reach 406. But can the Python? Two. The Python 2. I don't know. The Python 2 can't, I don't think. Can the Python mark Python one? is 292, I believe. Right. Right, let's have a look at this. So we'll be out front. Oop. Right, let's see this. The la what? Um, so you've got lights that flicker when the landing gear goes up. Well, we can have a look at that, can't we? Let's look at that landing gear while we're yeah. at it. I do like that. This. this and then the engines come out. Huge. Sweet. You think how big those things are compared to a person, those mm. landing feet. Yeah, but what I want to see now is what's it like when I deploy hard points. So you've got the hard points there. Yeah. Where are the others? Well, how many did you bring? You've got one central top. They um, should be all filled. Yeah, they're all filled for this one. With teeny so, tiny little pews. Yeah. So you'll see them deploy from the cockpit. Oh, there you go. There's two there. Oh, you got you got ah oh, the classic lacorn. Yes, either By side, the side of the cockpit. Yeah. No, I thought that was a hard point, but it's not. That's no, not that's that's point. way that's way simple, guys. And it looks like it. It's a it's lit. It's a billboard. Look, it's mm. got three lamps above it. Okay. <laughs> and there's one underneath as well. Yeah. So underneath thing there. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, that's a decent interesting arranged place to put it, actually. It's interesting, but so I've put them away. Yeah, that looks like it'll be a bigger one. <laughs> Does it shoot through your cargo scoop when it's deployed? <laughs> so there, your your little cargo limpets are flying towards you. They just get immolated by your, your yeah, gun at the back. Right. Well, yeah. let's fire them off. So I put it into firing mode. Oh, and don't. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you firing? Oh, because uh, I've just... Not... Yeah, you put them away. <laughs> uh... Oh, put them away. Derp. Yeah. They're turreted, aren't they? So you can see the little guys pop out there. That's yeah, you cool. can see them pop out, but these are see, turreted this is, weapons. This is one of the advantages of having You'll have to change. Like you have to change the settings on the turreted weapons. To yeah, I can't remember how to do that. Fire forward. It'll be in the ship settings in the side panel. Ship? In here? Yeah, in there. Somewhere there. I don't know. I, I, I don't use... It's at the, oh, the, the top wheel. tab. Forward fire. Yeah. Got it. Let's have a look what this looks like. Ooh. The little rear one isn't doing nothing at the minute. Is that good? <laughs> right, because it needs... There's two fire grips. Yep. Pulse laser, pulse laser, multi cannon. Let's just stick them all on one for now. All on one, yes. All on one. We want to fire them all at the same time. All the pew, all the time. Here we go. There we go. Well, because it's not a combat ship. This is not a combat ship. So, so whereas the Python can be. This That's is for getting out of trouble. Yeah. Those ones at the front are going to be grade four mining. Mm -hmm. That's what this ship should be. It should be That's mining a vessel. Convergence. It's not too heavy at all. Yeah, not bad. 
Well then, right after mentioning that an example of precision piloting would be Brother Sabathius, you get raided. It's like a sign. Yes. <laughs> Looks like we'll be practicing well do. piloting now. <laughs> and if you need any clues, just, just watch his stuff. He is the man. Oh, he's fantastic. And Doombrain, thank you for the follow. It's almost like I knew that you were there. Dun, dun, dun. That would be interesting, Alien Hunter, yeah. Enforcers and Cytos, yeah. <laughs> right, so I think let's try... So I'm going to keep this one with what it's got. Or am I? Let's put some mining lasers on this and see what it's like. I am going forwards on time. Yes. Oh, hard points. Derp. <laughs> Okay, let's go. So I'll fly back to. I've got the headlights on. Hmm? Still got the headlights on. If you're bothered. Fine. <laughs> you're not, not going to dip them. If you encounter, you encounter another player, dip them. You might dazzle no, them. That's I'll crank best. them up, actually. <laughs> right. So if I go to Ellis Gate, is that got? That's got all the mining stuff that we need, doesn't it? Uh, Ellis should have enough. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know whether and it has all the Olympic do, controllers. Do some missions for them. It's not going to make any difference in, in this because this is like a little shard universe. That's right. So nothing that happens pool. here. Yeah, nothing that happens here will have any long-lasting effects. This um, is where you go to crash things repeatedly. Oh, it's going to take so long. Oh, he's off again. <laughs> Never gets old, and neither does the loop of shame. <laughs> fine, I got this. I got this. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, that's uh, fine. I multiple, rescued it. Multiple of the same ship, Kalen. I I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's never occurred to me to do it. <laughs> I don't know that one. Honestly, honestly, don't know. You can just buy. You just buy one that unlocks it, so you can buy more with credits. Right. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because you basically paid for early access. It's. Hmm. Can you imagine if it was like, no, that's the only one, and it gets blown up? More arcs, please. <laughs> yes. So, what well, rebuys money? No early access. Uh, arcs. Give me, give me, give me. That they'd be hauled over the coals for that. But no, that, if it's just to unlock, that's that. fine. That would be a, a, a Helldiver's Sony level of exodus, that would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 they won't do that. I got the DBX, and it's just occurred to me. Yeah. I'll put that on to there. I hadn't thought about it, to be honest. I never th yeah, I thought it never crossed my mind. But how many do you want? 40. <laughs> how many ships can we have in, in one bit of storage? Because <laughs> there is a limit. Like, I've, I've hit the limit on my fleet carrier. You can't buy more than one of the same thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's 40 per station. Right. Okay, so I want to store these if I can. That would be funny. If, well, so at the end of the stream, turn on the SCO and fly until the ship implodes with the heat sinks. Just because. <laughs> I love this, this design. Yeah, it, it's... 50-50 Thunderbirds and, and Chris Voss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Cocked up my camera work. Aww. <laughs> so, then we'll see the, uh, the wings go down on the ship kit. That just pops down. Nice. 
here's a question. So I'm going to go into outfitting now. I want to configure the ship so that it's a um, mining vessel. By the way, did you do a trench run with the Type 8 yet? Not yet. I, I, I was flying low over a planet. I've not done a trench run yet. Yeah, and you were flying around the uh, the bits of a an Orbis. Station. Oh, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. It looks like a cargo elevator with rockets strapped to it for very leg on. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. What more do you need? <laughs> yeah, I and mean, if, if, if Scope swaps to the um, the internal cockpit camera again, you'll see just how big that damn thing is. Oh, yeah. Let's finish with this. Well, so, right. so here's the thing. So when you buy a ship for ARCs, you get modules with it. Um, but they are store modules, so I don't think you can sell them. But can you store them? Uh, didn't we try with the, the Python? I yeah, can't remember what the outcome ago. was. It's I can't remember what the outcome was. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to ditch off the... You can't store you can't, them. Yeah, there you go. So, how do I get them back then? So this, I can only sell or replace. Yeah. Well, that's unsettling. Well, okay, we're going to turn it into a mining ship anyway. It's, it's poxy, oh, tiny modules. little multi cannons not in yeah. use anyway. Um, which one do I want them on? I want the one that's right next to the front of the ship. Ah, yeah, so one's right at the front next to the cop. So they'll be just one. If I remember correctly, uh, you get nothing from me. That, that's true. Uh, don't ships push the docks have free rebuy for life? Uh, I think so. If if you do not change anything, they have free rebuy. Mm. If you start adding things that cost money, you'll have to pay for the rebuy for those modules. Mm, that sounds about right. But only the modules, because the ship was effectively... Yeah, yeah, free. yeah, yeah. Right, so I want a mining laser. Don't need a massive mining laser for this, do we? Okay. But yeah... Yeah, that's right. You put the you have to put the seismic on the only medium, because that was our beef for the Type Seven as a mining vessel. It doesn't have yeah, mediums. That's it. Yeah, the Type Seven would make a great mining vessel if only it had um, the things that it needed. All right, so we have got the. All right. I like the way that thing flips backwards there. Oh, I don't want that one there. I want it there. Look awfully wobbly, those things. Mm. <laughs> Going to someone else. If the only, hey, if Celine. The, if you only... Oh, hey, Celine. How you doing? Come on in, everyone. Come on in. I didn't see that there. <laughs> I, I turned off my audio. Oh, yes. I thought it's part of the, mm -hmm. part of the panel that you're looking at there. <laughs> yeah. So, what's that? So, so yes. Uh, if you only engineer and not add remote modules, your rebuy stays free. And you get engineered stuff back for free too. What? What? <laughs> no mining lances? No, I don't have mining lances. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, uh, Fox and Moon, how you doing? So, yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, Celine. How are you doing? Oh, can we get. We didn't get shout outs for. Did yeah, we get we did. shout outs? Did we? Have we done shout out for yeah. Celine? Oh, we've already done it. Oh, you guys are already yeah. on it. It's, it's Your man, Connor, is totally on the ball. Totally Chill. is. Chill. So what are we saying that we need for this one? So it's currently got a pulse laser. We don't want a pulse laser, do we? We just want um, a thingy. That that narrows it down so much. It does, doesn't it? So um, it's the oh mining lenses. Well, uh, you want if you want to do rock tracking, you need subsurface displacement missiles. It's not that, is it? Yes, it is. That's what I want. That's the one that blows up the rocks. But I'll need an abrasion blaster as well. <laughs> Watch for scraping the surface. Smoothed. Well, let's see if we can get this kitted out for um, for rocks. Yeah, there are mining lances there. Mm. So wh why didn't I have mining lance last time? What's the difference? I thought my aren't mining lances like um, things you get for doing. Um, Brain. My brain is not working. Um, power, power play. play. Aren't they for power play stuff? 
Right, so thank you for confirming that. Pulse laser, I don't want a pulse laser. So I'm going to see what this mining lance malarkey is all about. What is it? Uh, uh, ooh. Mining laser, mining laser. I, oh, it has to be a size two. Maybe they're unlocked in the test build. Ah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Hmm. But I don't have it anywhere. Oh, no, there's there's a mining lens beam laser. I'm going to test it. I want to see what it's like. I, I've never used these before. What does it look like? What does it look like different to the normal mining laser? Or... Yeah, that's right. It's, it's so, somewhere between a, a nasty doorstop and a really dangerous piece of Lego. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what the vulture is. Yeah. I, you I, don't want to stand on that. The vulture? Yes. That's all right. Right, so instead of this, we'll have the um, abrasion blaster. Let's see what that... Oh, is it all right for combat? That's interesting. Like the old uh, the old beams in... Um, oh, Elite right. Yeah. That's the difference. And we'll have a couple of pulse lasers to, for defense. Or should we have, we don't want pulse lasers, do we? We want multi-cannons. Multi-cannon. And we want it to be gimbaled. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, WeJet, thank hey, you for the it. sub! 28 months, mate. Thank you so much for that, mate. And we will do another one of those. And we'll take it and see what we can do with it. Multi-cannon. Uh, don't go into a conflict zone with them. And yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just to get you out of trouble, aren't they, more than anything? Help you run away. That's what your SEO drives for. Uh, still have to put two, put a class two yeah, seismic class charger. Two seismic, yeah, if you want to do rock cracking. Well, I've got one of them. Well, you've probably wasted it with the. Oh no, I haven't, have I? The lance. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yeah. All right, well, let's put the rock crackers on this one then. Well, you've got a missile at the top, but you don't. Never mind. What? It's not. You've got the wrong missile. You've got the displacement missile. I have. I have not the seismic. I'm looking for it though. Can't find it. Seismic chop. It's because it was at the bottom and it's a size two. Yeah, so it has to go in the. This is the thing. This is why we say the type. Right. Never work. Ra, ra, ra. Right. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll put the seismic charge launcher on that one because I don't care about the other stuff. It's been a yeah. while since I've done mining, to, to be honest. Seismic charge launcher can go there. It has been a while. Oh, that that's the one that goes. Um, just in front of the uh, the cargo, poor limpets are going to get wrecked. Yeah, they're going to get the size of it. It looks industrial. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we'll go back now and we'll go to the. Yes, I've done that. That's fine. But now we need to have a. Um, we need to put in the optional stuff. Ah, oh, so we're going to have to ditch. Coffee machine. Yeah, coffee machine. Vibrating and... bed. What? <laughs> what do you like? We'll ditch. Uh, like so, the the minimum um, size of refinery that I need. Shh. Refineries. I think that will do for that. How many bins does that give me? Seven. That's fine. It's plenty. Or D just makes it lighter. Five yes. bins, seven bits. What? Oh, no. Okay. I'll have that with the seven bins. And, and Mortag, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Thank you for that follow. And we also want a um, Olympic controller. And Paparestos, thank you for the follow as well. You guys are all, all turning up today. We're getting a really good look at what this Type 8 can do. Hope, hope this is. Hope you're having uh, some fun with this. I am. I'm really enjoying this. Rescue Olympic controller or a mining multi Olympic controller. I can only. What? <laughs> I've got one. In... How have I got one of them in Colonia? 
<laughs> I think you should probably sell that one. Well, it makes Isn't no sense. your character supposed to be sitting in Colonia? He right is now? currently sitting in Colonia. I wonder where I can get one of these from, though. Oh, well, that would explain it, really. I'm going to go over to Sonoma to see if I can get one there. If not, it'll be Jameson, won't it? Da, 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 da. I haven't got any Olympics yet, on purpose, because we haven't got all the things that we need. Inara is your friend. Is your friend? I know, but I hate using it. <laughs> oh, I want to use in-game tools. I want all this stuff to be in-game, to know where I can get things. But you're right, and we've all become dependent on Inara. Well, I think they should have Inara installed in the ship cap cockpits, like in Alexa. Oh, is that so, so you could just say, Inara, where's the nearest place to find this? And the kitchen Scott will tell you with the covers. <laughs> What's that? I take it that there's uh, still no way to get the Guardian frame trick booster without going through the Guardian grind. I uh, don't think so. No, you got to go through the grind. Yeah. But it's the whole cool part of it. But there are ways. It is guaranteed okay, to be there. It's a bit, a bit further than... There aren't other ways of getting it. You've just got to, you've just got to do it. Hmm. Go get the, go get the blueprints. Shinra, Shinrata Desera. It's not far away. So I will right. we'll get there. Bye. No hundreds. Oh. Right, let's go, and then we'll go get the uh, the things that we need. Because I want to save myself a bit of space. Onwards. Change jump range down to about 23 now from 25. I don't mind. No, not really mindable. It's like, it's just... Yeah, it's not like we're at the top of the, the Milky Way <laughs> and like, no. you've got no further stars to go. It's terrible when you do that. Whether you're out at the edge, like the, the Beagle Point places, or you're at the top or bottom, and you look at the panel on the left and there's like two names on it mm. I don't want to run out of fuel here <laughs> so Friday coming I can't believe it's coming so quickly is ECM so the Leap Community Meetup so anybody who's going to be there I will be there so hopefully I'll see you it's going to be a lot of fun I've, I've been looking forward to it for months uh, but so yeah so it's a Friday and the Saturday um, so I hopefully we'll see uh, quite a few of you there. Frame shift drive charging. You'll be there in spirit. Yeah, and he's missing Milky Way bars. You don't get them in the states. Oh, I've not seen them for ages actually. It doesn't seem to be that big on the white chocolate ones. The based things. I mean, Milky Ways is sort of um, uh, the, the, the froth in it. It's kind of white chocolate and. Else to put in there. What the Milky Way? Slight, slightly yeasty, yeah. Multi, multi. That's the one. Yeah, multi Milky Way. Yeah. But no, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just can't get them over there. Mm. So sir, I will be there. I'll be waiting <laughs> at the bus station, making frustrated calls to Scorb if he forgets. Yes. Why would I forget? Hmm. Oh, you've had to back out. Oh, that is a shame. Half us to the right priorities there, straight in the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my uh, swimming stuff as well and uh, do a bit of swimming because apparently there's a pool. If there's a gym, I'll use that as well. Three, two, one. Proper spa weekend, eh? I'm, I'm on a mission. I, I'm trying to, I've been trying to lose some weight. I know. And it's working. It is working. Whereas I've been trying and failing, but never mind. <laughs> No, no, no. Milky Way bars, as in Milky Way, not, 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 um, not the Milky Nes bars. Nestle, Nestle's white milk chocolate ones, no. Milky bars are on me! Yeah. No, proper Milky Way ones with the, um, the multi, multi froth in the middle. <laughs> or in some vari variants now it's just gone white froth, isn't it? I, d I yeah. don't know. Honestly, don't know. Yeah, it's gone more white frosty. I think the days. last time I had anything Milky Way related was in like a, a tub of um, the mixed chocolates and with um, Christmas tub. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the last time. 
you're not going to find the mining limpet controller at Sonuma. The no. Best, the the okay. closest place is Costa. Yeah, we've tried that. We've tried Sonuma before. And the beggars never seem to have the right mining bits that we want limpet mm. stuff. Well, I'm going to um, Shin. But be fine. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, they don't do the whip things, do they? Well, can you get walnut whips over there? They were good. Walnut whips? Oh, three musketeers. Yeah, I guess. You know walnut whips? I don't know if I've had them. They used to actually have a walnut in them, as well as on top. Yeah. Is it is it similar to Crunchy Frog? <laughs> Tell you what, this this ship could quite well become my daily driver. Yeah, yeah. Three Musketeers is pretty similar. Yeah, it's kind of the American version of the Milky Way, and it is made by Mars and not the dreadful Hershey chocolate, which the English people despise. Oh. So, so Three Musketeers is probably your best really bet there, can't, Mal. Can't stand Hers Hershey's chocolate. Oh. No, oh, tastes no. like baby sick. It, yeah, backup option, but it's not quite the same, but it's close enough. Yeah. Probably a bit bigger as well, actually. Why is it so bad? Hershey's, I don't know. It tastes better than it smells, but you can't get past the smell. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice can't hitchhiker's reference there, Mel. <laughs> What's it's that? almost, but not quite, entirely unlike Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the far away. Let's go. Oh, mint and orange walnut whips. Oops. Ooh, might have overcooked that one. This is the problem when you give someone a, a, a zoom zoom button. Yeah, uh, yeah, you zoom zoom a bit too much. Chocolate, nougat and caramel. That makes it like a uh, an old topic, except without the hazelnuts. You don't make topics anymore. They've disappeared and all. Really? Yeah, can't get topics now. Oh dear, oh dear. Health and safety. It's gone mad, uh, I tell you. Probably, probably, because it's a hazelnut in every bite. Oh, uh, a great story. Buena, thank you for the follow there. They went all the way off topic, Orange. They did. <laughs> they went a bit off topic. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, uh, what, the, the Cadbury's? Cadbury's Dairy Milk, yeah. Oh, that's just good chocolate. It just really oh, is don't, good chocolate. don't tell me Cadbury's stuff over there actually tastes like Hershey's. Oh, <laughs> gag just thinking about oh, it. That, that oh. would just be criminal. <sighs> would be criminal. Gravity well. Let's, let's go. All right, so. All that talk of chocolate. Make me hungry. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't eat much in the way of sweets and chocolate. Oh, it doesn't taste like. Thank God. Yeah, they own them. Um, well, no, they they, they uh, own the right to it in the states. But I think Cadbury's, like everything else in the world, is is owned by uh, Mondelez, which used to be Kraft until they split it up all over the place. Um, right. I'm going to let us auto dock. You yes. Had... You are approved for automated docking. Dove is soap. D d d yeah, soap and shampoo and stuff over here. <laughs> yeah. This is true. This is true because what's the face who ran uh, craft said, oh, yes, we're, when we, we're taking over Cadbury's and everything will be fine. We'll respect the traditions next month. Right, we're shutting down the factory in Bourneville and shipping out to make stuff in Poland. Gee, thanks, madam. It's only there for like 150 years. Ooh. Let's see what this does now. Oh, it's like Galaxy. Oh, interesting. Both soap and chocolate here. Well, well that's not confusing to the kiddies, Werewolf. <laughs> oh, Technocast, thank you for the follow. No wonder people eat Tide Pods, honestly. What? When you've got Dove in a country and it's soap and chocolate. <laughs> what? Just because the company makes both, people get confused. 
Oh, yes, the Lynx. Lynx body spray is Axe in the US, that is true. <laughs> it right. doesn't make... It doesn't make either of them smell any less. But it does make some things stop them from smelling worse. Yes, that's... that's <laughs> don't sweat me or I'll wash them out, out with this chocolate. <laughs> what? Dove. Dove chocolate. Dove soap. Oh. Oh, dear. This, this, oh. Moisturiser. I'll just moisturise myself with this chocolate. <laughs> Had enough alcohol for this. Not had any. Okay, so we want to try and get a. Um... Right, so a multi multi like limpet jobby. I don't think I've used these before. But it's blue blue candy meat. That makes it even worse. Yeah, cocoa butter moisturizer is common. I'm thinking I should replace the shield. With what? An out? No. Well, no shield, yeah, but with a... Um... Um, well, if you're not bothered about scraping the hull when you land, I'm not, I suppose. I'm not bothered about that, no. Well, if you're just, if you're just rock mining, then you're fine. Right, so I want Provided to... Provided multi... you get two kilometres clear of a it's rock fine. before it goes back. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just want to get the multi... So that's a size... I'm doing a... Huh. Size three is the biggest it'll do. Okay. You got size three and size seven, in terms of these things. Right. Well, I don't want to waste the size seven, do I? So. Oh, it's crazy having yeah. a size seven. But it's for limpet controllers. It's usually better to just get one of those and then just get a bunch of collectors. Hmm. Do, do they have the universal one? Oh, what is the universal one? That's a size seven one. Oh, oh, I see. All right. Well, let's see. So, what will that give so, me? So, it basically, it, because they've made it universal, it. It, and it takes up a size seven slot. Well, that is just sloppy coding. That is. No, it isn't. If you think it right. is, that, man, that's Manticore. Manticore. They should. I mean, they're just like using Where's extra Jan's space volume? there. I'm going to fade Jan out. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to do a thing. <laughs> Yeah, chill, Jen. You stopped playing before this stuff came out. Yeah. You've never right. used them. No, I've never actually used the Universal. No, so... If, if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing. Right, so let's see if what this does. Because so, I, I've never used one of these, so I don't know how this will work. Uh, so... So how do I tell it what kind of limpet that I want? In your fire grips. Right, well, first of all, how much... So, 196. That's plenty for, for mining. So you, unless you're going for... <laughs> there you go, Effie. You said something nice. <laughs> Literally. Something nice. Oh. So, unless you're going for, like, loads and loads and loads of stuff, you found a really um, dense... Um, field with the th whatever you want. I think a hundred and something tons of uh, stuff is plenty. Purchase some. Because it's, it's got, got to times when I've not been able to collect. Mm. Not been able to fill it up. Because I got bored and then I went home. Yeah, with the, the high paying gigs. Yeah. Mm. If you're getting a cheap crap, yeah, it doesn't matter. But why would you? Right, let's, let's get 90 out of 190. Oh, good point. Uh, did, no, did you, I didn't. Do you need the ping? Let me do that. Wave. Let me do that. That's a... Ooh. Uh, oh, my power supply is on the... Uh, it's gone... Uh. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so if I get rid of um, shield booster and put the, um, the mining thingy... Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Pulse wave analyzer. That's the one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes. One ping silly. Let's get that. And, but as we can see, with everything deployed, my um, does that my does that um limpet controller use a ton of power then? Presumably, yeah. 
What does chat think? Oh, it does. Right. So what, what I might do then is engineer my power plant on this one then. See if I can increase its... Uh... Oh, I've only got FS... Of course, it's my Ascorbius account. I've yeah, only got FSD let's, unlocked. Let's try it for Ascorbius. Arg. Just get a Guardian power plant. I think you should be fine if you just turn your FSD off when you come... When you drop it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get a guardian power plant. I mean, we're trying to build. We're trying to build something that's uh, a viable mining vessel out of this. If it can be done, then uh, viable. Right. Oh, putting, got more power in it. Putting yeah. in a guardian PP. I see what you did there. <laughs> so, so how much more is that going to give me? A lot is the answer. A lot. A lot more. Yeah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> so, uh, so let's see how this. So on the um, thing then. So I've got my abrasion blaster there. I've got my seismic charge there, and my mining lance is there. I don't need them all. So well, I'm not worried about that right now. The universal limpet controller thingy. Wow! So I could just go in here and say what I want and just, yeah, let's have prospector on this one and a collector on that one. But it gives you yep. fuel transfer, hatch breaker, everything. Well, I mean, from oh, a uh, Manticore's perspective, they're all the same little thing. They just I suppose they are. Chip in. Uh, oh, there might not be. But uh, uh, Bolt Nuts, thank you for the follow. And uh, Luchum21, thank you for the follow as well. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these right. Yeah, OP, does he actually need that abrasion blaster? What? What? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, if you crack a rock... I know, you you've get got stuff on the inside. You, need, you sometimes yeah. need to blast them off the inside. So... Okay, that's true. So let's put that there for that one. Oh, yeah, Alien Thunder says you, if you're getting the Guardian power plant, you should get the Guardian distributor while you're at it. Collect the set. Uh, oh, checking okay. he had one. Okay. So that's that stuff. Uh, heat sink. Oh, I'll put that over there. That's not really going to be needed much. And Discovery Scanner goes there. Let's get rid of that. Is there anything else I need? Oh, down the road. Harg. Another one of the... There we go. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, you're just checking I had one. Right. That's fine. Uh, mining lasers and collector limpets on the same trigger. It's not a terrible idea, actually, because they do tend to get splattered. Okay. So we'll put them... There. Okay. And the prospector can do its prospecty thing. I've got enough. Now we can go and uh, do some some <laughs> PVA. <laughs> Guardian distributor boost my output a tiny bit as well. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Let's see what it does. And why not? I'm learning new stuff here because I've been playing this game for donkey's years now, and I'm still learning stuff as you guys teach me things. So power supply, power distributor. Guardian power distributor hybrid one. Uh, okay, so it's going to up my weapons recharge by a bunch. Oh, but the capacity is down. What does that mean? It's heavier. Uh, it's got less integrity. So is it just charges faster, but it's not got as much? Yeah, it charges know. faster, but there's not as much in the in the batteries. We'll see. We'll be fine. This is fine. I like that we're having to make sacrifices. And um, there's no just like, here's the ultimate, like, epic ship. There's no god ship for this. We're having to make some sacrifices. Yeah, actually, before you go, you haven't third person walked up the ramp. You did it first person. But you should do it third person walking up the ramp. 
because uh, you want to see what it looks like from a camera shot. Exactly. I'm sure okay. chat does too. Well, you presume a lot. I do, don't I? Right, so there's the thing. So if I go to external camera, there's score looking at the thing there. So we, we do have to make the shot. But look, horrible blue circle. How can I make it go away? Well, you do what Burn really did and get someone else to shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to, though. But okay. I know. Do you want to toggle it off on the camera? All right, so if I set that what to the asked? world. So now um, you can walk, walk up a ramp. Go through the blue thing. Not interested in the blue thing. But he is interested in going up the ramp. Hooray! There we go. It's the little things in life you treasure, isn't it? Ah, oh, it Turn is. Around. Isn't that wonderful? And it comes back down the ramp. Like, oh, look, it's a ramp. It's like I've just, just, uh, it's like, it's like a different game. And then I'm going to walk over here. Shows you the scale of the ship, though. Oh, oh yeah. Determined walk there. It's like, oh. Didn't see that guy's looking up. <laughs> there you go. You happy now? Yes. <laughs> That's better. That's made my night, that has. <laughs> I think uh, EDMH has a little mod that hides a circle. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, it wide enough to drive an SLV up? Uh, I don't think so. That's that the immediate star big. citizen next quest, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. The SRBs are quite chonky. broad at the wheelbase, yeah. But we'll give it a go sometime. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll give it a go at some point when we when we get around to it. So right now, we'll just see what this is like for various tasks. So we've got it fit out for mining now. I have my limpets. Yes, I have limpets. <laughs> They're always place to check, yes. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Sorry. I mean, it was his fault. <laughs> Did you not see the Cobra 3 waiting in the queue? It wasn't the Cobra. It was a... I hit no, a underneath. Oh, who's storing in crates side, in the mail slot? There was a Cobra 3 sitting there in the station, not going Fine. out because there was a crate coming in. Pulse wave analyzer, yes, I've got I've got one fitted. I didn't say anything, it's just what I'm using on to. I think I've got it fitted. Everything's sorted in my mining ship. I'll just go out now, bang. Yeah, where is it? Pulse wave, there we go. There he is. Um That's right, Winter you know you're supposed to stay with uh with thrusters while you're in space talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick that on that. What else is, is on this one? He did not indeed have great expectations, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Maybe a, maybe a little bit. Blame the Cobra. Yeah, he should have spoke up, shouldn't he? Where's, where's good for mining? Uh, oh, I know where we can go. Oh, wrong button. Let's... How far is Ainley? I was about to say. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm just not going <laughs> to... Well, there are some good places to go rummaging in Ainley, aren't there? Um, there we go. How do we spell... Back to that again. Anali. There we go. Yes. Uh, there it is. Yes, Orange Phoenix, but Shinrata isn't not called isn't called Anally. It's ten jumps away. It's ten jumps. We away. can't tell the joke. Yeah, we we, we have, have to. Do you have a feel scoop? Yes. I Click mean, it. it's not tied at all that joke, is it? No. No. No, I have a feel scoop. Right, let's go. We can't just go deep and anally with an abrasion blaster. Yeah, so you're going to know he. <laughs> Definitely oh. scoop before you enter. Oh my goodness. You started this. This is on you. 
You bats. opened that can of worms. I did not open a can of worms. It's all coming back to haunt you now because you started it. <laughs> you know what chat's like. I know what chat is like, yes. You do. Uh, entering Noe. And. <laughs> when was the last time I was in Ainley? It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we tried to see how many fleet carriers we could get in there sideways. This it is was, true. It was quite accommodating. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what? I need a cup of tea. You're just driving me mad here now. Yeah. <laughs> We're just in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Sound lovely. Oh, Rick Boy, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Do you remember how many people were watching you the last time I was in Ainley? Oh my god. Uh, there's a few. <laughs> I just need to name the ship Suppository. I'm not naming the ship Suppository. <laughs> oh no. Well, no, I'm not, because I'm not in the station. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm flying there. I'm going there. I'm flying the ship. I'm appreciating how it moves. Oh, yeah, we we're all in there together at the same time. Uh oh, go to EA. If it was Italian, you could call it innuendo. Well, in innuendo, we use innuendo as a word in English as well. And I do love that the word innuendo was also quite rude. Extreme electronic arts. Oh my god. We're in extreme. <laughs> oh, we nearly there yet. Yeah. So we should be able to see how this flies inside a, um, an asteroid belt. That's always a nice way of getting an idea of how maneuverable the ship is. It's in the game. Well, obviously, e EA is in the game. We just went in there. <laughs> oh, it's been so so warm here um, lately, and for England, it's just, it's been pretty warm. I was at the pub um, the other night. And then it started raining ever so slightly, so I was, I was outside and I just stood out in the rain and just let it cool me down. Uh, Jack, how are you doing, matey? Sorry, I, I could push. Oh, what's that? Sorry, I could just push past and get to the seat I booked. Sorry. Uh, was that your foot? I didn't mean to jump. What? <laughs> Something appears to be uh, probing anally and it tickled. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I did think of you, Scorp, when I flew the Type 8. It's ideal use for the stairway. Oh, absolutely. It looks like a perfect ship for that. We'll have to do the stairway again. Frame shift drive charging. <laughs> it was very warm. Oh, I've got prickly heat on my arms. It's going down, but it's it's uh, it's so itchy. It was really bad. And couldn't sleep. It's been It's been really bugging me. It's 25 where you are. I think that's what... It was around about 25, 26 um, here. And for some people, we're, we're like, oh, that's not very hot. It's like when you're not used to it, it is. It's pretty warm. Fuel scooping. Right, so on Wednesday, we'll be doing another um, game stream. I'm thinking... Uh, it will be No Man's Sky because I missed last week because I had some bad bad work news. Um, I might be needing to find another job. Um, but we'll soon see. We'll see. Um, but apart from... So I wasn't in the mood for streaming on Wednesday. So I might pick this up on, um, on Wednesday and continue with the expedition for No Man's Sky. Uh, the following Wednesday will probably be 
a random game. Um, we'll be doing a leak for, for a little while because we've got the update. And we'll be playing around with new stuff all together. Because at the moment, this is a like a little shard universe. No one can join me. Uh, unless you already have it. Like So I could bump into like, Brother Sabathius and, um, and so on. It's 9 degrees where you are and 32 where you are, Beorshman. Oh, my goodness. I can handle the heat if it's not humid. If it's humid, uh, it's horrible. But it was it was so bad this week. Like I was getting physical symptoms, and I was like, oh, wishing for the autumn. And I loved the summer. I very much prefer the summer over anything else. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the absolute worst. It's the absolute worst because you can't cool down. Your body's natural systems for cooling down stop working when when the air is already saturated. That's why if it's humid, a good dehumidifier is um, is what you need. Take some moisture out of the air so that your sweat works. Is that why British humor is so dry? Uh, 53 today. Oh! I don't know what it is here at the moment. Hasn't been too bad today. How many jumps left? Three more jumps. Yeah, what's the temperatures are in this room? It's 27 degrees in here right now. And it's 39% humidity. I've got a little thing in here. So in, in this room, it's... Uh, so the humidity will be like general. So it's 39%. It's not too bad today. Whereabouts are you, WeJet? Scotland. Okay. I don't think Scotland got that that humid, did it? Ninety six. You're partly swimming. Frame shift drive charging. That's brutal. <laughs> we export our humidity to other countries, do we? So England was like, yeah, we don't want this humidity. We'll send it up, up to Scotland. Here's Scotland. You can have some. Right, he was thick enough to chew. <laughs> the humidity was so high. My God. Oh, it totally does. Yeah, it, it saps your energy. All right, we're about to jump into Ainley. Uh, you do live near the sea. Right. Well, I suppose if it's hot, then the seaside's going to be humid. Is the ship lubricated? No, but it's going in with both fists like that. And that's that's an image you will never remove now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just bite the pillow. Oh, my God. Uh, what have we done? All right, so we're in Ainley. Uh, so let's see. Is there what's in here for, which is good for um, for mining? Obviously, rings are terrible. Uh, there's more here than this. 
We've done mining here before. All right, where's my discovery scanner? Wrong button. Yeah, honking. There are 20 bodies in Ainley. Why can't I see them? Maybe go scan the nav beacon then. Uh, I'll go one better. I'll use the thingy, thingy do her. This account hasn't been here before. Remember, school. Ah, uh, that's true. That's encoded. Oh, right, let's, let's see. I want planets. Planets! That's a belt cluster. I'm interested in belt clusters, although it does find all of those. What have we got here? What have we got here, eh? So this is all signal sources. Signals and jobbies. Encoded missions. Actually, right, let's find... Let's find these guys. Uh, okay. We're close. Yeah. Something here. Aha! We found an icy world. In a special survey, you haven't been anywhere before, so I have to scan every system. That's true. What's over here? Is there Did you happen to pick up a surface scanner for scanning the rings? Nope. No, I did not. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Apologies for that. I've just deafened everyone. It sounded painful. What? It was a sneeze. Get out of here. Hey. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Hey. We've got something over here. I don't know what that is. Find it. It's not showing up on the thingy just yet. Oh, it's here. Well, you got a couple of gas giants left. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Looking for the gas giants. Uh, and quite a few small icy moons by the look of it. Yeah. Well, let's have a, we'll have a good rummage around. It's a water world. Very nice. I really hope that one day we'll get water worlds we can fly over. What's this? Oh, hello. That'd be cool. We get ourselves a nice Moray starboat. Yay! That's, that's a nice one there. So we're not going for maximum profit on this. We're just going for. This is... Oh, hello, what are you? Right. Oh, there's another one of these. Very nice. Total movie. I uh, rather liked it, actually. I, say. I don't remember too much about it. Honestly. It's over here. Oh, there's another one. Bunch of these icy bodies. These are there. That's all of those signals. It's this over here. What are you, eh? That's going to be a signal. Still got two more gas jets. Yeah. I've got to find them, though. Something big over here. Ooh, what are you? Yeah, that one's got mins. Oh my goodness. It's all made it's made of moons! Ah, it's a nice big pretty one. Look at that. We've already got uh ice in the game for the polar caps, so just need to liquid water. I think there's it's like what do you do when you get there? I think that's the problem. Um If it's just like a planet that you can fly over, uh for the work that 
than, than it needs. It could be argued that that it's too much for, for nothing. But then finding these places is is reward enough in a lot of cases. Like I want to, I want to drive an SRV on those lava worlds. Were you like, a mad person? That would be cool, I think. Yeah, it would until your wheels started glowing. Oh, yeah, because we do races. We do races, don't we? Let's get some of these. Do we care about these guys? No, you have to have new just... heat sink modules installed in your SRV. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chuck the heat out of your wheels. Well, you could have high temperature wheels. So, so an SRV with like um, ablative metal panels on the wheels. It's blowing away, but it's okay. I've got another lap left in there. Yeah. But they should totally do stuff like that. Bases on these lava worlds. I would love to see that. Oh, there's something here. There's a high metal content world. A hover SRV would be fantastic. I'd love that. That'd what, be like the, the Nomad in um, No Man's Sky? Yeah. Little flat horizontal wheels. I mean, there's there's a lot of examples that Frontier could could take inspiration from. There's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from things, you know. And players, it almost becomes a meme that players expect s s certain things in games now. They do, yeah. So it's like, well, why haven't you got flying cars? Uh, because we've got cars and wheels. Why are they all the same? Because we didn't make any new ones. Well, you got you got the scorpion tank, which is great, but more, please. Oh, more. No, uh, no Man's Sky's current expedition is unashamedly Starship Troopers. Every time you log into a terminal, it says, "I'm doing my part." Yeah, oh, it totally <laughs> is. Have we got everything? There's four more bodies. Where are they? Looking for these four more bodies. The bodies will be yeah. the ones on the. On the right of the scanner, of yeah. the spectral I'm looking, analysis. I'm looking for where the, where it goes a bit blobby, because that's where there's still stuff. Yeah, that's it. And if you see, like, nested doodlies or a little or bunch maybe, of them, maybe that's like... where your gas giant is. Yeah. So, so, uh... Here. Something here. Ooh, I can hear that. May have been quicker to just scan the nav beacon. I don't want to do that. It's, it's this is not about what's quicker. There's more stuff here. You want to take your time in aid on me. Likewise, Winter Minute, yes, likewise. Oh my god. Just turn up with your neutron cannon anywhere where there's a way waypoint. Uh, got one more to find, and then I'll I'll have them all. There's something over here. Is that it? That's the signal source. It's not the body. There's there's one of these over here. There he is. Ah, oh, you see now that's smart thinking from WeJet. What's that? Use the SCO to fly super fast away from all the bodies, so that you turn around and they're all in the same little field of view. That is clever. That's very clever. <laughs> Is there a range, though? In a way, that's how we did things before we had uh, well, any kind of scanners. You used parallax, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we flew away from the star, and you could see the stars that were moving, and you knew that those were the planets. <laughs> all right, so what's what's it look like now? Now, I found all these things. All right, so we've got a bit more now. Look at that. Yay. So that one looks nice. What's in there? So what's it got? Only eight. I can't remember where we used to go. I'm just going to go there and, and um, see what we find. Don't care what it's got. I just want to see. Because yeah, if it's if it's like um, high metal or... Is, is it metallic or metal rich? Which one's the best? Like if you want things like um, Painite and stuff like that. 
old bare school. Metal. Bare metal, obviously. Pay night and air, don't they? Pay by the night. If you want your low temperature diamonds, you go to the, the blue ones oh. with the icy rings. I'm not interested in those. But it's want, just the worst. You want your pay night and stuff, you go to the rocky ones. Mm -hmm. Again, your void ones are going to be the cold ones. Mostly. Yeah, I'm not interested in them. It's just so much other crap that you have to filter through when you do nice mining. Jack Little, how you doing, matey? What out to you? How are you doing? Oh, there we go. Bizarre. What do you mean, like water and brumalite? Yeah, there's a, there's a extraction site here. Are you looking forward to Friday and Saturday, Jack? That's only eight. <laughs> there's a, a resource extraction site. I wonder if there's anything here as well. I didn't bring the, the thingy. Very much so, me too. I have to try and remember to bring my swimming trunks. No, he has not named the ship yet, actually, Spooky. You might even play some Elite this weekend for prep. What? <laughs> right, has this got an ex is this has uh, a low that's low material yield though, isn't it? Not um I can't remember how this works. There's a hazardous one there, so that means there's gonna be baddies. I'll get to the low one. You could just drop in anywhere. I could, but... The inner ring's got more rocky bits, outer ring's yeah, got let's, more icy let's, bits. Let's go to the inner ring. Just randomly pick a points. Yeah. And we'll see what yes. we find. I don't have a scanner. I don't have yeah, a scanner. <laughs> I, I, oh, I kind wait. of messed up a little bit. Hang on. Right, okay. So there is a station here. I wonder if they, like May City, might have a scanner. Let's go do that. Because it's a smart play, Wait, isn't it? You're just next to the... All right. <laughs> yeah, but if it's just crap, then what's the point? And it's only just over there. And I've got an SCO drive. All right. You just wanted to use the SCO drive again, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of us far out the other side as I was. Yeah. Hopefully they've got the the, the, the scanner thing. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit too a put a little bit too much uh, beans on that one. Awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Finally caught a stream. Yeah, so this is the Lake on Type 8 brand new ship in Elite. And this is the early access build that has been given out to uh, Frontier Partners so that we can show it off, basically. And it's blooming lovely. <laughs> It's a really nice ship. The only thing it doesn't do is pitch. Oh, it doesn't need to worry about that. But it yours like a mofo. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get into this station. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to uh, put a um, surface scanner on here. Because I did forget. I forgot about the surface scanner. Derp. Where is May City? Is it just dark? It's 877 kilometers away. Well, it told me I could drop out there. Yes, that was weird. Weird things happen when you're in Anerley. 
Right, let's see if that works now. There it is. Oh, it's like the old days when you didn't have an automatic dropping point. How long ago was that, Jack? Very long ago. Living I memory? St I still remember it. Oh, I, I, I good remember, old days. I remember Thomas the Tank Engine being on BBC, but that's beside the point. And we used to calculate it, and guess, and we could work oh out how it drop literally just outside the mail slot. Oh, Sometimes you are you Inside doing a, the station, that didn't go very well. Are you doing it back in our day where we had to use a pen and paper? Uh, it, might, it might have been ITV. I, <laughs> you, know, you remember we used to buy those my things? Oh, 40 years, man and boy. I had to give it up because of a terrible back injury. That. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, like that. Thomas the Tank Engine was ITV. You get my point, though. <laughs> pedantic buggers. <laughs> you know, chat. You know that they are pedantic buggers. I want to see like what this looks like on here. So this is the new ship. It looks amazing. That's right, right Caleb. But a bit luxury. <laughs> right. So I fixed up my ship. And repaired it. Now it's all they've got the dents out from from that total uh, misunderstanding at the mail slot. Yes. What you you did the misunderstanding mostly. What What do you mean outfitting unavailable? Well, it's only, it's only a tiny little outpost, you know. Damn. Ter Theresa May. She wasn't there very long, so. It's the new big station here. Um, it might no. be one on a planet. Is that... Not sure, though. But you... It's common for outposts to not have outfitting. Harumph. <laughs> uh, God, what, a bit of pit. Uh, uh, what about this land. place? This, this place might have it. What about... So, uh, I don't... No. What's it got? Normal service, uh, refinery. Uh... I can go here. It'll be fine. They might have it. Yeah. Check the system map. I love it, Jack. Oh, yeah. How Don't you, have a list how of you all say this stuff, stuff like an expert? So... I'm just telling you what chat says. Uh huh. In the so... collective voice of chat. <laughs> So is is this a, like I've got one job? It's a stupid job, but I'm going to do I'm it. I'm going to do it anyway. Well, yep. All right. So what am I looking for? Doing it for eight years now. <laughs> oh come on! All right. So I want the summary. No, I want the. Where is it? Where is it? Where am I looking? It'll be points of interest. I don't know where it is. Summary factions. Points of interest. Orbital. Right, these are the orbital points. Okay, that's a... Uh, what have they got? Docking. Ex resource, outfitting. They've got outfitting. Right then. That's where we're going. I'm going to go and get that thing so we don't waste any time. <laughs> Ugh. But by wasting time trying to get the thing. Uh, uh, how's it going? It's going all right. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, and it's in a funny color. And um, these glasses are terrible, so bear with me. Things are going all right. Things are going all right. Um, so currently in the Type 8, I'm going to hate this. Why are we going to hate this? That's his name, Scott. Oh. <laughs> you were not there. Sorry about that. Yes, um, normal service will resume <laughs> momentarily. Oh my goodness me. I, I, well, I can't see it very well with my glasses. They're, they're not designed I'll, for this. Uh, uh, you're going to hate this. Thank you for the follow. I can actually see it better on that screen. <laughs> 
I can see it better on there. Uh, but it's at the nearest for the scanner is uh, Morgan Station. What? Where? Um, where is that then? Apara. Apara. So I've got to, I've got to go to another system. Yes, Barnacles. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Stay on target, chat. Uh, ha, 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 para. How far away? Oh, it's next door. All right, well, we'll go there. We'll go get the, um, rather than go to a planet and maybe it won't be there and stuff. There's every chance that it is in there, but no one visits that, that place. Oh, but this this will really. There's no escape. I, I think there is. I want the Olympics. Yeah, what is he after? Yeah, well, let me get rid of him first. It's a good test of it though, like of, of how well it gets rid of interdictions. Hundred and four thousand light seconds. Walk in the park in a Type Eight. It's a good. It's a good place to go because it'll show you just how good the ship is. As long as we've got a full tank of fuel, but we we will be able to do this so easily. We can't scoop here though. But that's beside the point. We are going to go to and you say um, Morgan Station. Wasn't it with all the Morgan being far away? Hey. Like Morgan Orbital is far away. So Morgan Station, you see? Let's go. So you're a returning player uh, after five to six years. Should I do more upgrading of modules? Um, Should well, you wait? Or sh wait until the... Oh, wait until, out, wait until yes. next week. Because uh, yeah. the engineering um, th things have changed. Yeah. Next week, Tuesday, it's going to make grinding for engineering materials way easier. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready for this? 104,000 light seconds. I don't yeah, think I want to wait that long. Thursday, I could be wrong. Nah, I don't wait that long. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long. No? Uh, unfortunately, it's the, the only um, gas giant in this system is not <laughs> not around that star. It's around the main star. Morning. Temperature critical. It's technically... Well, it depends on where you are in the world. It's technically this week, yeah. <laughs> You've gotten used to grinding, but you're still um, going to to wait actually do any engineering. Whoa! I, I almost ended up so far away. That took like, I, I don't know, an eighth of the fuel tank yeah, to do that? very little time, very little Did fuel. you overshoot it again? I was reading chat, reading, reading chat. chat. Doing this job. Excuses, excuses. I was reading chat, talking to people, doing my job. No, I'll accept that one, that's fine. <laughs> it is, it's a bit of a loop of shame. I'm going to have to... It was a loop of chat. Me. Are you going <laughs> to loop of shame again? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully I won't loop of shame a second time trying to correct my initial loop of shame. If I if I SEO a third time, then I will oh. definitely look at shame. Oh, from here, yes, absolutely. So, do you have the patience? I'm not sure. We can find out, aren't we? We can find out. <laughs> Itching to press the button. Oh, not the button. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, yes, a meet meep when you push the button. That's what it needs. When you press the SEO. Oh, totally, yeah. Uh, and it should be something that you can fit to your ship, like, uh, you know, maybe you'll want uh, different kinds of horns. Because, of course, everybody can hear you in spec. Yeah, why not? It's not for everybody, it's just for me. Exactly. You'll be able to... F uh, oh, I'll read that in a minute, because otherwise I'll loop of shit again. <laughs> yes, yeah, smart, see? Now we're getting there. I'll read it to you. Happy we'll be able to finally engineer more on foot stuff for cheap. I spent ages gathering mats for suits and weapons before. 
Yes, I'm, that it I'm is. bothered. No, nor have I. But again, I might be. I might bother actually after this update. Hmm. No, you won't, Jan. I said might. I didn't say will. <laughs> Um, so I, I got put off doing the the on foot um, engineering because I don't agree with how you how you have to get some of the the materials. You just mm. basically got to break in and steal things, or kill everyone and steal things. I don't I don't like doing that. I don't think that's what what I should be doing. Just to no, make it so I can shoot things better. Engineering something requires you to murder and steal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least. You know, not as a solo individual. In the name of a company, perhaps. A corporate thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright. That is true, actually. Well, yeah, you, if you get a reactivation mission, you can walk in with permission. That's true. Uh, and steal uh, things. Uh, steal things. You have to steal things. Like, you, you can't play a morally good character. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we we also play Star Citizen as well. Um. Uh, haven't played it for a little while because um the demands on my computer have been a little bit too much. I need to get a better machine now. You can, but it's quite difficult to tactfully acquire <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, I'd like to go to a shop and buy things. But if, if they were really bothered about them, they'd have locked them away properly, wouldn't they? That's not an excuse. It, it is literally an excuse. It's not a justification. Alright, it's, it's not a reason excuse. then. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it broken again right now? Uh, I won't, if, if it's going to make me frustrated, I won't stream it. Um, but if it's, if it's fun, I will. So I, w I want to show um, things in their best light, give them the best chance possible. I'm not one of these streamers who just picks on things. Uh, outfitting, let's see, let's get that. Mission rewards, yes, I'll take those things. Yeah, that's fine. Provided I don't have to take murder missions to get them. <laughs> you should be able to role play how you want to. And like maybe you want to be a, a bounty hunter, maybe you want to be a conscientious objector. What if you're a conscientious objector? Why do you want better weapons? You might want better suit <laughs> stuff. Jack. Better suits, certainly. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. Uh, I'll get rid of the shield. That start. is a much better justification for Andy Turner than I see. In reactive mission, the stuff is classed as salvage, and you know the base owner's insurance is paid out already. See, now there's a proper justification for you. Right. I'm going to get rid of the... Oh, so I've got Dr. Computer. I'll get rid of this cargo rack uh, and replace that with the um, surface scanner. Because it is a surface scanner. There isn't another size one. There's no splitters. No. <laughs> I'd love there to be splitters that you can uh, break up, uh, break up a size seven and give you a size three and a size four or something like that. But right, so we've got that now. We can go back to Ainley and try and do some mining. Yay! Do some mining. All right, we've got it. Got the thing we wanted. It doesn't take too long to get us organized and, and the having to get this is on me because I didn't think to get this when when I was in uh, Shinrata. Uh, if you believe the cargo capacities, each slot is twice the size of the one below it. Okay. We don't know. Um, we don't know what... I don't know what the next ship is. No, actually. Well, we don't know yet. I was going to say, like, I've, I've not heard of an Anaconda Mark II. I hope that's not what the next one is. But, uh, well, if you're yes, doing it, that, you might as well have the boa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we don't know what the next ship is. Um, I'm sure we will find out soon. 
Um, a Beluga Mark II. Uh, I would like to... You know what? I'd like another adder. Or, or um, if they... If they uh, if they want to set a good, um, like, ex set of expectations, how about some of the cat ships? Yeah. Or the lion and, and so the lion and the tiger, and of course, panther clipper. And a puma. There was a puma mm -hmm. as well. Vulture Mark II might be interesting. And teeny tiny little fighters, the kestrel and the osprey. Three. Yeah, I mean... There's no harm in them bringing out lots and lots of, like, small affordable ships for new players and old players. Sometimes these smaller ships are so much fun to fly. Uh, and we forget, we forget, like, crack out a uh, Cobra Mark III, get it engineered. They're a blast. Absolute blast. And the, the Vipers, absolute blast to fly. Uh, where was I? I see why you did that, FNAF. I see that. Right, where were we? They says the next two ships could be Adders Mark II and Mark III, the Multiplier and the Exponentiator, respectively. <laughs> well, if oh, you're looking God. about gaps in the lineup, there could be a medium Imperial ship coming up. But then it would mean a rank grind. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, maybe, but. That's just how it is. Ideally, it's you don't want any, any rank grind. And, and also, if you think about it, that wouldn't fit with their current model of uh, pre-sales. Because not only would you need to pay arcs for the ship, we would also have to gain the rank that you'd need to fly it. They're not going to do that. I think that well, experiment... Well, in, terms of, in terms of gaps in the lineup, that one would make the most sense. It would. We're missing one. Definitely in that. But yeah, say so the uh, the Osprey was it was uh, yeah fun, but it, you could literally just get one tiny little laser on, and that was it. There was <laughs> you could do with it. I don't think it even put a hyperdrive on it. A tiny little thing. Yeah, it could just be like the Imperial Eagle. Where? Oh, yes, got eagles, imperial eagles, and an alliance equivalent eagle. <laughs> Call it the fall. It was nippy. It was. Right. So I think this is just going to be icy. The outer one, yeah, but the inner one should have some rocks in it. I don't, I don't know if it's got, got, both. Don't know if it's got both. an inner one. It does. Um, where is my thingy? Uh, pulse wave, but I also want the uh, surface scanner. Yeah, we do. We've had this discussion before. We want the flying gun. It's just a tiny ship with just one huge gun, and that's it. <laughs> what? Did you did you put it on, Scorp? Yes. Oh, okay. There it is. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's there. Uh, I actually right. care about the ring more than anything. Oh, where is the rendering for, for that? See, that's just one ring. Dev build model didn't matter. It's there. It's just Yeah, I saw, I saw it. Like... Yeah, there's no probe being shot around. Mm. There are two rings. The one is just really small, though. Uh, but uh, let's see what these are. It'll be whatever's near to me here. Low temperature diamond hotspot. Uh, do we care about low temperature diamonds? Alexandrite's worth a few bob. As is grand did 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 right? Is it? But it's the ice rings. Yeah. They're pretty, does but... It, does it matter what it's worth? You're not going to keep the money. Also you're, you're true. just showing off money. True. true. Alright, let's go to this Alexandrite hotspot then. There might be some some things that we can uh, let's go in there, and it's quite pretty. This this gas giant. What the cockpit spins instead of the gun, Mal? What is going on in your head?
Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see more industrial stuff like this as well. Things that are just dedicated for, um, for like industrial roles. Hey Martin, to a trade, you mate. Let's go in here. Oh, a bit, a bit close. No one cares. It's fine. Well, we got a, we got a cargo ship, and we have a combat ship. So wanna... the next one should be an exploration ship, right? Uh, we don't know. You want a gun star? From um, oh, what was that from? Damn it! What the um... movie? Oh, yeah. It's like one of the first movies to have like full CGI. Um, yeah, yeah, the yeah, last yeah. Starfighter. Thank you. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we've got here. It's called Death Blossom, was it? Plasma Blossom? Where is the Pulse Wave? Scan detected. Who's scanning me? Those three. Uh System Authority. It's fine. It's the Rosers. Yeah, and they're classic Vipers. Actually mm -hmm. Fault was on the Viper Faults. Move along, kind of. We're done here. I wasn't the one who stopped hey, me. It, yeah, you're not moving along. You, you um, lot are moving along, all right? Sling yeah. your up, copper. Yeah. Move <laughs> along. The nerve. Right, so I want to have... Uh, so that's my collect Olympic there. But my um, scanner jobby, pulse wave scanner. Don't want that one. It's the surface... Yeah, it's the pulse wave that I want. So this is the surface scanner on there. But there's something else on here. Multi cannon, derp. Just get rid of these. Get rid of these. Don't need these on here right now. I'll sort these out later. So I just want my um, pulse wave scanner so I can see if I can see anything. Well, you know the Rosses are in the neighbourhood, so you should be alright. Why is this saying? Oh, right. Hang on. <laughs> the surface scanner. It's moaning about that. Not seismic charge. Pulse wave. Oh, I take it the uh, hard points need to be out. Oh, I just missed a thing. Um, so what's that? Um, prime operative. More trivia. Zer was able to escape before the Codan <laughs> command ship was destroyed. Yes, Zer and the Codan Armada. You remember? No. Yes, you do. Last stop, I did. If it's been a long time, Jan. Long time. Have they changed this? Things glow for a little bit longer? It, no. It's entirely possible, and, you know, different builds, different whatnots. No, it's the same. I'll see what's in that one. But it's obviously it's not a core, but it'll do for now. see what this has got going on for it. It's just going to be normal uh, mining lances. We're going to prospect it. Oh, fine. Well, if you prospect it, you tend to get more. That's it. Don't ask me how, but it works that way. Because it knows where they are, I suppose. It looks like the U-Wing from Rogue One. Mm. I, don't, I have not seen that one. I've seen the movie. Uh, this is trash. This is a trash tier asteroid. Why on earth? Why did this uh, even suggest this? Pulse wave. I think the pulse wave and the prospect need to be on the same route. Yep. Let me sort that out. So, Pulse Wave and Prospector in the controller could be on there. There we go. There was something over here, though. Ooh, 
what's that guy? Right, let's get a prospector on that. Well, this is where we find out it's got terrible brakes. <laughs> Makes sense. There isn't really any thrusters on the front. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, let's see what this has got. What have we got in there? I think that's a. Prospector limpet engaged. It's just water. Water. Just, just water. Asteroid scan. So you're in a bunch of ice astro asteroids. Oh. I'm surprised that it's got water in it. Oh, so if you turn uh, flight assist off, it has pretty good retros, is it? Oops. I'm sure you don't want to try the, the inner rig. Pretty sure. I just want to see what it's like. Crashed here again. Ugh. Asteroid scan complete. Oh, bleach, is it? Bleach. Uh, yeah, hydrogen peroxide. Lovely. Well, it's not actually bleach. Oh, what's that? That's that's a very bright, shiny one. It is quite bright, and shiny. You should be able to tune these this thing so that it only shows you what you want. I'd love that as a quality of life thing. So what you're looking for, and then scan, and, and then it appears. This has got a core in it, I think. It looks a bit gory. Scan detected. You're scanning me. Get the roses again. Oh. The the uh, thing didn't work. What's in this? Core detect, Alexandrite core. All right, then we'll do ah, this. Yes. Better do, Bob. Asteroid scan complete. Okay, so to start with, we'll get on the mining lances. Drone. It is boom time. Alexandrite's a very pretty gemstone. Right, let's uh, see what this looks like. They call it Emerald by Day, Ruby by Night, because it does have a sort of. Depending on the lighting, it can be um, purplish or greenish. I see. Baku! Tony Curtis incoming! <laughs> well, I mean, he can try. <laughs> oh, so do these mining lenses overheat you? Uh, well, we change the distro. Yeah, so Tony Curtis can't come into this instance because he hasn't. He's not a partner with Frontier, is he? <laughs> it's not. Oh, it's the same as uh, t the T7. Uh, did you change the distributor? You did change the distributor. Yes, I did. So it's um, got less capacity but better recharge. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Where's my collect? Where's my prospects from there? Where's my prospector? Has it popped? Uh, no, it should still be there. I can't see it. Um, it's got Alexandrite inside, so I'm going to do the uh, splody boy on there. Where is the seismic charge launcher? So I need to find the um. There's some. Oh, go oh, get it. So I need I need my prospector again so I can see where the things are. For some reason it's lost its uh okay. thing. What is going on? I can't seem to Because you only have one uh limpid control, so you've used all the limpets for collectors. So you can't launch another one for the prospector. I see. Well then. Um, so you you may have to go and 
sacrifice a limpet by flying close to the asteroid. Uh, there was a way of doing this. All my limpets, so that's what this... Oh, right. Yeah, you, t you tell it to pick something up and it'll go pop. Yeah. So, that's what I'll do. It'll get so excited it'll be to be personally asked. Yeah. Well, it just bursts. Let's uh, mine this rock here. Oh, no, wrong button. Mining lance. Let's get some bits off of it. Yeah, limpet lives matter. Right, so as I can see fragments of this, get it. And then that will kill it as it dies. I've got it. Look, I got the thing you told me to. And then it will come back and explode. Back as you take care, mates. You need your beauty sleep. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's nearly nearly 11. I have a stressful week ahead of me, so uh, we'll see how far past 11 that I go. Hey, Jack! How you do, bud? Uh, what are they doing? Are they coming back? So this is where I'm putting all of my collectors on the on the same group as when I'm mining wasn't the wasn't the right call was it no it's usually better to have um a separate prospector thing for mm -hmm. well for mining. Oh, yeah so let me get rid of the where is it gone come on uh so collect Collector, right, let's get rid Hmm. I had it on here for my where's my Oh, I'm losing my damn mind. This is really weird when it's when you have to start scrolling up and down. Mining lines, it's on here. Let's take it off there. Don't need you there. It's really weird because I thought it used to scroll up and down on its own. Alright, so can I do the prospector now? No. Uh, how'd you kill your limpets? Smash them into the asteroid. I know what you do. I know what you do. You turn off your limpet controller and they die. I mean, that's the boring way, but whatever. With an ECM. All this, just so I can do this one bloody rock that's only got Alexandrite in it. Right, you. You better be good. Programming limpet drone. So this can run seven limpets, but you've got to you've got to manually be very careful. Prospector limpet engaged. Right. So we got fishes. Asteroid scan complete. Yeah, totally. Bye bye, limpet. Right, so let's get I'll the... your story there in chat. Oh, which one? Sad oh, story. Oh, Terry, Terry the Limpet. Terry the Limpet, yeah. Um, seismic charge launcher. Okay, so we have to fly around here. And there's a fissure there. Let's see how good this um, ship is at manoeuvring close by. Okay, so we need to... It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. Oh, booped. Got booped. Uh, there should be another... Oh, there's another fissure here. So we've got to get it in the blue. What's low strength? This only needs a little one. Uh, did that one? Oh, it did. And now we've got another one. What's that? High strength. So that will... That will... 
if um, we get that one, it won't be quite so bad. Where is the one I've got targeted? There. So as long as I can get that in the blue. So it's peaking in the blue. Just about. Have you got a... Got Only a low strength one. one. You might have a pocket. You'd have to have a really, really nice one. Ah! It's overcooked. Oh. Well, you can turn one off. Can I? Yeah. Disarm the charge on that one. I don't think you can. Yeah. Oh, can you? Well, you can. Provided you're quick, because, you know, they'll all go eventually, but yeah, you can. Because your destination town's coming up and you, know, you, you have to have a shield. Charge disarmed. 15 seconds. How far away are we? You're going to be about two clicks off to me. Uh oh. <laughs> Detonation failed. What? Yeah, it Did was it just failed? under. It was just under the, the critical threshold. Can I blow it up again? We're gonna have to find a really manky little one. No, I can, I can, I can uh, detonate it again, can I? Yeah, you can get it. You can detonate it again. Oh, that's overcooked. That one's that one's a bit overcooked. Um. Right, we'll disarm that one. You only need low strength for the... You don't need a... a well, you need a low yield charge for the low strength fishes. Mm-hmm. But that's so got rid of that. just fill out one little thing. It's got rid of my... Uh, well, it's a fisher there on the other side. Got one fisher left, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me too often, but yeah, yeah I'll give it a go anyway. So it's held, held together with duct tape now. Should be. Use more umph. Oh my god. Right, that was just... Well, let's get out of the way. It's going to be overcooked anyway. And we'll... Blow it up. I'll detonate it. I'll, I'll use the detonate now option. Just so everyone knows, this is not the uh, the type Thank eight. You mal. <laughs> no, this is not the type. Really, really, that's what you're going with. You're, you're, <laughs> you, you, ha you feel the need to assert this. Yeah, that's true. I see how it is. Right, well, I'm going to detonate now. Oh, I can't. I'm not close enough. So you have to be close in order to, uh, to set up. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, no, it's there. Detonation in 10 seconds. All right. Let's see if this works. <laughs> wow. There we go. Boom. All right, let's go and get my bits. You got a couple of bits, yeah. It is a very nice sound. Mm-hmm. Send Terry the limpet in. Yep. Programming limpet drone. So it'll be nice and cold inside there. So then I, I can get my abrasion blaster. Um, oh, I see how this works. All right, so you go there. 
Where are you, abrasion blaster? Bollocks, I've got it on the wrong thing again. There. We've had a lot of uh, juggling with fire groups to make mm -hmm. this thing work. Yep. Hey, singing sails. So this is now uh, Alexandrite's surface deposit. I'm blast that off. That's right. That. Use a use a laser to get these gems. <laughs> Just shatter them into space. Uh, yes. <laughs> this mm -hmm. kind of it's normal mining. Kind of, it's yeah. It's core mining. I mean, it, it, you can just go zap, zap, zap with lasers and shoot shoot a rock until it's depleted, and there you go, and move on to the next. But some rocks have cores in, and if you blow them up, you can get a much bigger yield from the core. And that's what spawns after here, but it is just a, you know, mining, mining. So I've got some Alexandra right now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's there's a couple of ways to do mining now. So you've got that, you've got the deep core mining, you've got the laser mining. A different way for beginners. Uh, yep, well, yes, yes. Yep, you've got this way. Uh, so see this guy here? This rock? I'm going to prospect Any him. old random rock, yep. Oops, I, I went past that. So you prospect to see what's inside. Programming link it, drone. And then um, once the once the prospector makes its way and lands on the rock, you go, "What's in that rock?" And then you can go, "I'll have some of that. I'll I'll just do it no matter what's in there." Yeah. Oh, tritium! Yes, freaking please! <laughs> right, and so then you use your mining lasers. And so you keep doing that until it says it's depleted and your collect your collect limpets will go and get all the bits and bobs. Wait, this is the chill this version of, of, of mining. Yeah, this is chill. This is chill version. Yes. So then if you've got like a VR headset, you can look around and... Uh, it is very chill in VR, actually. Oh yeah, very chill. Yeah. And you get this really nice depth, um, a sense of scale. You do. Right, so we're almost done with this. Ping her up to see what's in it, and Bob's your creepy uncle. Now, getting tricky is nice. We, we, we need that for the fleet carrier. But it doesn't matter because it's not on this account. That's right. And Twisted Dr Twisted Derp, thank you for the follow there. Twisted Derp. Yeah, and right. if I haven't said thank you for, for follows, then uh, it'd be just because I've been a bit distracted. I do appreciate They have one been of them. a few follows. Hmm. I do appreciate it. So this asteroid is almost done. So we just have to keep mining and and then so then the limpets will go and bring all the stuff in and then you'll use your refinery which will go and turn it into useful things that you can sell. It's like someone's been driving an off road vehicle around it, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Oh, what's that? Oh, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much for that. And there they go. Point, 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 right in front of you. Yeah. Oh, take it down the center. Oh, just filled <laughs> that gap perfectly. Spot. On. Oh, Farku, thank you for the pull. Uh, yeah, you do get extra because cores have a lot more than. So this um, one's done now. So as you can see. Than the surface stuff. I don't know what the proportion is, but yes, there's a lot more in cores. So as you can see, they, they go off and get the bits, and then they take them in, and then they come back with some more. Until they expire. Uh, but yes, thank you for those bits. That's really generous, really kind of you. Can you oh, if that's your seismic launcher just behind the cargo scoop now, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> But it worked, so I don't think. Um... Yeah, it, it still worked. Oh, thank you for that, Connor. Thank you for gifting that sub. That's oh. really kind, mate. God, 
don't know how that... Now get LTV Plus. Yay. <laughs> you want me to I don't shoot know how, it? how that shoots through the... Yeah, go on. Uh, I'll have to make sure that I've got it. It'll um... just bounce oh, off right. the rock if it's not targeted. Yeah. Yeah, it will. But, okay, let's see. So I'll, I'll put it here. <laughs> and uh, you can see it. And I'll put it on ship mode. And then... It just goes through it. <laughs> it just goes through it. Oh. oh, that's a shame. It'd be cool <laughs> if it opened to let it go. Yeah, because um, the, that's how um, limpets go out. Cargo mm. is scooped up that way. Limpets, it just goes side to side and drops them out the middle. Yeah. So this ship Which is I the... always appreciated because it's completely unnecessary for the devs to have done that. Mm -hmm. But they did. <laughs> So you asked what ship this is. Uh, this is the new uh, Lacon Type 8. And, uh, oh, and Phoenix, thank you for the follow. So this is a um, an early access build that um, the, that's a nice shot, actually, so that um, we're getting to show you guys the ship. It comes up next week, um, and as does the, so, so next week, this ship is available um, to buy with ARCs in game. And the Python Mark II, which was the previous new ship, is now available to buy with credits in game. So you can just anyone can have, can have it. This will be an arcs only ship for I don't know a couple of months, and it's then like this three months or so. Yeah, then this will be available to buy with just credits as well. So it's it's Frontier trying out this new fun, funding model. Uh, it works for Star Citizen. They they seem to make billions and billions and billions. Billions and billions. Yes. Um, whereas, whereas Frontier have always been a little bit like timid about um, making money. Mm. But um, well, it's apologetic sometimes. Yeah, but like so, I don't mind them doing this. Uh, the the ship's cool, so they're bringing out these these new cool ships. There's going to be another two this year, apparently. So because they said that there's going to be at least four ships, so we've already had. Uh, the Python Mark II. This is now the Type 8. Uh, and then we don't know what the next two are going to be. They're keeping it very close um, on, 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 under their hats. Servers take money to run. Yes, absolutely. Servers cost money to run. Developers cost money. They need. They have bills to pay of their own as well. Artists. Um, there's, the, the list is quite um, extensive. So this this will be available on Wednesday. So I think there's an update dropping Wednesday. So if you want to get the ship, it's you have to pay arcs for it. But it's a new ship, the new shiny, and it's really freaking good actually. I'm really enjoying it. Yes. As ships go, this could be my new daily driver. Mm. I thought well, the Python, Python Mark 2, two became your became it, your new daily driver. It did. Are you, are you saying I'm fickle? <laughs> just quickly, just no. to, ooh, new shiny. Oh. Just, just fatty. That's <laughs> well, I mean, most of the elite community does that. Like we did it with the crates. Yeah. Oh well, I'm I'm, I'm still monogamously in a relationship <laughs> with my crate too. I haven't given that up. It is a really good ship, that Python. Um, it, and so it's apart from the Type Eight, it is the best with with the um, the new. Super Cruise Overdrive um, module, <clears throat> which I will just demonstrate. That's it's like we, we've we've tested the mining now. It can fit all the all the gubbins. It does. It does everything you need. So I'm going to leave the ring now. What time is it now? Uh, okay. So sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry limpet dudes. Really pretty ship. Good sight. Oh, the the the, the light trying to keep up. Oh. I know it's it's really sad. It's heartbreaking every time. Right? Can you catch me, guys? Can you catch me? Come on, guys! Let's go! Oh, oh they're like, trying. They're like trying to keep following up. Following a mother duck. Oh, oh they're trying. But they can't. Oh, a mass lot. Oh, of course. It is a sweet looking ride. 
missus is going to lose shit. <laughs> I know. What have I done? Right, where's the main star? Right, see see this, see this this planet here. Right, let's let's aim ourselves towards the star as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, the, well, let's do it using this. And we'll target that. And we'll aim towards it. It is currently over here. See the star there? Right, okay. So we're going to use the external camera to show you what this thing can do. Oh, it's actually, it's actually fun uh, doing it this way. So you can see, so you can see that huge gas giant looming large, right? There it is looming large. And we've all seen, we've all seen these, these uh, ships fly away and it's all very pretty and everything, right? So, <laughs> it's never getting old. Though. Right. So, say bye bye to the gas giant, everybody. Bye bye, gas giant. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some stars. They're just sure. Uh, that was the rest of the system. I, I, yeah. I, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've actually lost the rest of the system. Ooh, yes. Let me, let me uh, go back around, and we'll aim for we'll aim for the star again, and see if we can uh, do a flyby. See how close we can get. Are you off Tragic Blue as well? Early start tomorrow. Look how far away it is now. So just doing that, we are forty-eight thousand light seconds away from the star. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. How fast can we go? Eight, nine, a thousand times the speed of light? Uh, Fifteen hundred times the speed of light? Two thousand times the speed of light? Uh, two, 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 two thousand seven hundred, three thousand times the speed of light? Three and a half? Four thousand times the speed of light? Oh, there gets the solar system. Oh, it's gone. It's, uh, it's all over apart from the shouting. <laughs> The, I think the Cobra Mark II goes faster than this, but this is more stable. Oh, and G Dolphin, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Cobra Mark II getting all the way to 5,000, but I could be Yeah, yeah I, I, Python Mark II. Thank Python. you, Phoenix. Yes, the Python. Uh, I wonder how fast this will go. I, I know, right, Martin? I know. Uh, so let's let's go again. Let's let's, but we'll leave it running and see how fast this will go. Oh, take care, Chris Sparks, mate. Let's see how fast we can get this going now. So this is perfect for getting out to those really far away planets and and stuff. Uh, can, can we can we hit the star? Can we hit the star. Can we? Can we? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let me fire up a heat sink. Uh, heat sink. Heat sink! Oh no, I've gone past them. Come on! Switch to heat sink. There we go. Four and a half thousands. Uh, it's hovering around four, seven, four, eight. We're at four, eight. Can we, can we, can us? Oh no, it's, it's around uh, four, five, eight. That's, that's where we're hovering. But, like, this is insane. This will just keep doing this. Warning. Temperature critical. But, see the fuel? That, that's that's the that's the problem right it's there. It's going down relatively quickly. But you can always add fuel scoops. I mean, fuel tanks. That's true. Right. How far away is the star now? Uh, the star is currently 255,000 light seconds. 254,000 light seconds away. 
My goodness. <laughs> oh, I think we shall fly back to... Um, oh, where would be good? Somewhere. How far is Data Seeds? Oh, Data Seeds. 230 light years away. That's not far. We can do that easy. Oh, so what's that? 10 jumps? Mm -hmm. 17. Okay, we'll start flying back. Um, it's unlikely that I'm going to be doing anything else on this account because by the time next weekend comes, it, I'll just... I'll have the game. It'll be installed and I'll buy the uh, Type 8 with my own money. So... And with your other account? And with my the account that I normally play with, yes. <laughs> but yes, so this this is uh, looking like a good update. I haven't tested the engineering. There are engineering changes uh, with this update as well. Not tested those yet. I've just been playing around with the Type 8, and I think it's best ship in the game at the minute. We will have to wait for all the science -y commanders to... Oh yeah. Science out the engineering changes before we make any huge mm -hmm. opinions of. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need some fuel. I haven't got a lot left. Uh, I've discovered the rud. Uh, oh dear, oh dear! I really did drink all the petrol, didn't I? Is the temperature critical? Is it though? Fine. Uh, fire off a heat sink then. I'm out of heat sinks now. I can go make some. Uh, da, 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 da. Heat sink, heat sink, heat sink. Where are they? There. Why aren't they higher up in the list? They should be in the panic slot, the top three or four. <laughs> mm, they should be. Decent thermals of that Guardian power plant. A Type 7 would fry itself by now. Yeah, it's basically an air fryer, the Type 7 is. Mm. <laughs> Morning. Temperature that's a nice big box. Mm. Brick, a brick oven. Mm -hmm. Will it fueled up fast enough? Let's say you can just bind them, the heat sink, so you don't have to mess around with the fire groups. Yes, I can do that. Um, but it's like if you want to recharge them, then that's a bit of a pain. I can never remember what button I bound it to, though. I use them so irregularly. Yeah. There's a million buttons there. That's what uh, HCS voice packs are for, really. But, uh, ah, I'm burning! Fires off a heat sink. <laughs> ah, well, you know me. A bit of casual junking. That's the ship I'm looking for. The one with the huge hull. Really? Uh, you, you have got about six or seven. Right, so you get a pirate after you, and you're already lined up. You don't want to mess around with that. Go away, pirate. You can't catch me. <laughs> and then you jump. <laughs> Try to interdict me now, eh? <laughs> it's like, where do you go? You just hit the nitrous. Yeah. Cop, cops flash you on the road, you hit the nitrous. He has got no chance of catching me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time I won't announce myself by saying, there's the ship I'm looking for, the one with the big yes. hole. <laughs> yes, maybe. Oh, hands the pirate an SEO drive. Don't say that, it's first for yours. Oh, can you imagine? That would just be... That, given how twitchy and what the things are, they'd blow up. They'd just blow up all the time. Uh, do, I know, do I know anything about last week's uh, Twitch drops? Um, there is a link. If you say exclamation mark drops, I think. Is that right, Connor? I believe so. It'll, give you, it'll give you the link to what the, what the drops are right now. Frameship. 
did the jump take a long time? Uh, I didn't notice it taking a long time, but then I was talking. All uh, right, so it's for the Chieftain, Ferdinand's Anaconda, and the Corvette. Uh, I don't know exactly what they are at the moment. I, I have an email from Frontier which lists them, but I've been a bit busy this week. They're not too bad looking. Yeah, I've had I've had things to deal with this week. The scribe, the Type Eight, you know, in one single word. I think it's great. <laughs> It's great ship. They should call it the type great. New. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's certainly new. The type great, yeah. <laughs> now I'm I'm very impressed with it. I was a bit worried because I liked the the look of it, and when I saw the um, the initial um, design for it, I was like, oh, that's a nice looking ship. I hope they don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> with the the design of it and, and how it flies, but it's a, it's a good sh good ship. Mm. But there's also uh, you know you have to worry about these things like because it can make a bit of an arms race. New ships always being better than the existing stuff phases out the old stuff. So either you have to have lots of new ships or ways of making the old ships really good. Uh, let's get away from Star. Let's get away from the Star so I can go towards my destination. Another use for it. Don't overheat. Just black yourself away from the Star. Although, it did use a bit of the heat. Uh, this week, I've had a... I've had a... It, there's been great bits and terrible bits this week. So, next week, hopefully, will be better. But we'll see. Let you guys know on Sunday. If I know by then. Sure. Old ships get uh, pension rates at Jameson Memorial. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, or, or what it could be. It's like, oh, sorry, we don't stop the pass. Is that, is that, is that an anaconda? I've not seen one of them in ages. Yeah, oh. Yeah, we don't stop bits for them. I mean, th thankfully that's not the case because it's all common no, you parts. Just stop bits. You'll have to go out to Hutton Orbital. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an old mechanic <laughs> show, okay. Um, yes. I think you're right there because, like, if you just want to fly somewhere and don't want to lose a big ship and you're doing on foot stuff, what? You don't need a massive ship. And the small yeah. ships are fun to fly. They are. You forget. You forget how fun that to fly if you're just flying the mediums and mm. especially the largest. They're I, also I, great for landing on planets because yeah. you know if you have a pretty rocky planet, it, you're not really you're going to ha have some difficulty trying to land a corvette there. That's true. That's where the the DBX wins out over the Asp Explorer in terms of the exploration game. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the bird Asp, the always wins on Thank fuel the solo. Skips, but the DBX can land <laughs> on anything. Yeah. Bird not found. <laughs> well, that's because birds aren't real, you know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how, how many jumps have we got to go? Ten jumps. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, it's, I don't know if my fleet carrier is there. It'd be nice to land on the fleet carrier. It's ironic, really. Cause no, you won't aren't, have your fleet carrier. Aren't Hutton Bucks you're... made out of uh, frame shift drive? Uh, drive plates, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There was a Buckyball uh, the other month, uh, which was Sidewinder only. A fully engineered Sidewinder is great fun. They are. Uh, so for 
so I do um, a videos. I do a couple of video series, um, story-based ones. I do my Commander of Scorpius stories, and I do one this baddie named L. Scorpius. And uh, for reasons of incompetence and other things, the universe conspiring against him, he was in a Sidewinder for a lot of the episodes. Uh, so that meant I had to do lots of filming with the Sidewinder. And they're great little ships. Absolutely great little ships. Oh, that's just giving me another. Oh, I remember I've got old days memory. Oh, what's that? In the earliest days of early, before we had cameras or anything like that, flying around and the only way to get a decent screenshot of anything was to be in the sidewinder and look completely up. So it's just window. <laughs> Just a square window. That was it. That was like a screenshot of, you know, it's nothing else. It's just the thing you're looking at. <laughs> Fuel scoping. System scan complete. Oh, it's a great FAF trainer as well. Uh, yeah, and it's also really cheap. Cheaper than a gun. <laughs> yeah, cheaper than a gun. Cheaper than a rifle for an on foot commander. Mm. Kind of bonkers. How does that even work? I don't know. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. But, oh well, it is what it is. I guess they couldn't have the... I don't know how the econ economics worked for that. Uh, they don't. Uh, that's fine. It's a game. Yay! We'll take it. Yeah, so you do realise that, Jan, that with these new ships, uh, we will we have more videos to make. I know. <laughs> Frame ship drive charging. Your sidey is named a learning curve. It's a great name for a sidey because it's not very curved. <laughs> it's very wedgy. <laughs> it, it surely an adder or a hauler would be a learning curve. Yeah, that, that ramp is very, um, well, if it's photogenic, whatever, it's, mm -hmm. it's camera worthy, it's that ramp, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, so, because we have to cheat. So, in, in, in my new video, which is coming out, I actually do have a ramp descent shot, and I've had to cheat, because you can't do it in the Cobra. Yeah. So, it's it footage... Was... Hmm? Oh. I could always film it again. What, with a different ship and different <laughs> everything? <laughs> Are you out of your damn mind? You don't have to use the rest of the ship. Just sort Are of you, uh, angle the camera oh, so it's No one have noticed the, the Type 8 that's there. Yes, highlight so, Exactly so. It's available with ARCs, not just yet, but on Wednesday, is it? Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. And the Python module yep. should be available for just credits. On Wednesday, yeah. This, this is the um, partner's dev build, so Scorp's just showing it off. Mm -hmm. So that people can see what's coming on Wednesday. So if you've been holding out for the Python Mark II, then you can go pick it up on Wednesday. Dun, dun, dun. Um, well, if, if we go and make a, a video where our characters are walking towards the ramp and then bounce off the blue thing, go, oh, yeah, that's for I have to walk around it to get to the ramp. Yes, maybe it will. <laughs> One thing I haven't checked on this, is this ship multi-crew capable? No, no it's a single-seater. It's, it's just single-seater and the two uh, DJ. Yeah, because it's, it's got DJ booths at the back. Yeah, if you look there, just no, like the they're, D7. They're useless, it's just single-seater. Unfortunately. Yeah. They but be... you could make it, we, we could, if we had the interior, we could like have somebody standing oh, up yeah. there. And, like, I, I should. I will have to have a word with my my friend Jane and see what we can do. Because if he can't get um, this inter interior, he can probably get the Type 7. And it's the same. It, the back of it, certainly. I don't know whether the, the cockpit is as wide in the old T7. 
because we I were going to use it for the three guys one ship thing so mm -hmm. i got mildly familiar with it i think the cockpit is narrower than the t7 but it definitely has the same dj booths at the back <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and the python is a reskin uh re re, re material of um of the original python one it looks more modern yeah Otherwise, it doesn't make sense for them to just make a whole new ship. No, I mean, they have an iconic look from the old pimple uh, triangles. <laughs> I mean, how, how many how many tries did it take to make the original ships in Italy? You know, not oh, many. Not many at all. Eight. And that kind of limited the, the shape of things. And that's an iconic feel that they had to work with when they came up with all of these. So, yeah. I still would have preferred the three-engine look for the Imperial Trader. I don't remember that one. It's great. It's a bit like the Liberator. Two lower pods, one up top. They probably didn't do that for a reason. It probably didn't work as their design with the new ethic they've got going there. Might not have gone through the mouse slot. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the courier um, was bigger in the game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And again, it had the, the, the sticky out in the cells, like little, you know, and they had turny bits on them in mm -hmm. the front. They're quite fun. They're like yeah, wasn't the courier the one that was used in the intro? I, yes, it was. Yes. And then in the remake of the intro, which was done so long ago now, oh my goodness. Uh, done before the camera system as well. That so was using the old debug camera. Uh, that yeah. was a clipper. Yeah, all the ships in the uh, in the old game had crew. You had to pay them every week. About five credits. <laughs> Not like these these greedy beggar fighters that you have these days that will take ten percent of your money even if they're not doing anything. You are so tight with fake money, Jan. It's not yes, even funny. I am. Not even funny. Like, you, you hold on to the fake money in this game with an iron fist. Like, the well, fake person is not getting Yorkshire, my we'll get fake play. game money. <laughs> well, he's allowed, they're allowed to get it if they actually do some work. Well, you have to there, put them to them. work, Jan. You have to put them to work. I've told you before, the one time I had an NPC fighter, he shot an innocent Type 9. How many, how many builds ago? It doesn't how matter. How many years ago? Uh, he shot an innocent Type 9 and I got blamed for it. So uh, I fired, fired them on the spot and never hired one since. Yeah, because one data point makes a... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. We, we have had conversations about this years ago. As well, Jan. Yes, we had this we'll, conversation. we'll probably be having this conversation years from now. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm still paying. I might not be paying one anymore at the moment, but I put real virtual work into earning it. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. And the best they can oh. do is give me virtual work back. <laughs> well, give. Oh. Hey, Orange Phoenix. Yeah, never trust the crew. Right. So, if we can't... Um... Right, so we've arrived. Days of it didn't seem to take that long. This is not engineered in any way. So... Ooh, that seems to take longer than expected. So, uh, it will be interesting to see like quite what we can do with the FSD on this but I'll do that on my actual account with the actual ship on Sunday probably to coincide with the engineering changes oh excuse me oh, that's too far away isn't it I want to press the button <laughs> oh maybe I'll stop yeah, I, think, I think you're addicted to this now aren't you a bit oh that's too far away Ha, 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 ha. 
Uh, Space is big. Not anymore. <laughs> I think I overcooked that a bit. That that was a brave attempt, though. That was pretty good at the deceleration arc. It was. I'm almost there. Almost there. Was <laughs> yes. it? You. Uh, I did work mainly on an exploration build. Yeah. I think Felix. everyone's got their own tack on this, haven't they? Like, oh yeah. Oh yes. This is yeah. It's quite versatile. Yes, you won't believe how mind-boggling big space used to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more than 1,500 light seconds and you go, boom, I'm hitting the burners. Mm-hmm. Well, it's fair enough, isn't it? And all the pirates are like, we don't get any trade anymore. Yeah, they're like, we can't catch anyone with an SEO drive. Oh, that's the next villainous episode written. Oh, yes. Straight away. Yes. That's going to be a thing. Can you... Uh, oh, bugger, he's gone. Oh, ra <laughs> rails. That would be... God, how much heat would that generate? You press a button and just rails. explode. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on in that engine room by the sounds of this. It's it's busy, isn't it? It's a busy sound. And it has old school valves in it. It's I mean it, you've got eight you got eight engines boosting. Um Mr. Hanses, thank you for the follow there. <laughs> must be shot to the year of 100 percent yep oh well the engine itself rotated uh -huh. the whole block rotated yeah that's what we were seeing earlier Yeah, more of this, please, Frontier. Well done. More of this. Yes, it please. Looks like, it looks like when it's coming to land, the cockpit being its face, it's got these two huge arms with the hands spread out. Yeah. Elbows, <laughs> elbows up. Oh, I'm coming down. <laughs> it's going to do push-ups. No, I don't mean the one. I don't mean the ones at the front. Not the Superman arms. I mean the the landing feet. It's oh, like right. it's like it's your elbows. You know, and he's just about to do press ups. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good ship. It's got Scorb seal of approval. I love, I love all the little bits of uh, detail that's in here as well. Like in in here, so I I know the fidelity in Star Citizen like is more than the Elite, of course it is, but it's that was always supposed to be. From the micro scale, anyway. Uh, but this is this is good. What's that there? Oh, that's another. Oh one yes, that, those dirt. side mount the wings that look like um, what do you call them? Uh, heat brakes, air brakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's the ship kit. Yeah, that's all ship kit. If we take that off, then um, on that unit in the middle there. Oh, there might be other options in the ship kit. That there might. You could check yeah. out. Uh, but, 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 but. Yeah, while we're here, may as well. Let's end on that. That would be cool. See how many options there are in livery. And if, if there's any... Show the yellow paint job, the original. Yep, yeah, sure. I'll take everything I, off of it. and then... I do like its original paint job. It's very council yellow. <laughs> council yellow. Yeah, JCB. You know, <laughs> it's industrial. What's wrong? Stand by for action. All right. So paint job and all this, all this stuff. So if I change this, so no paint job, yellow, and then I'll also do the ship kit. 
Oh, you might have to turn your lights off, actually, because the lights are catching in the... Uh... Oh, look at that! We've got extra oh, options. Oh. So there's other options for that. So yeah, I'll turn all these off, and then we'll, we'll, have, a, things, we'll have a yeah. tinker. So I thought they, I thought that was an airlock. Yeah, it does look like an airlock, but it's a... Uh... Oh, my God. Okay, I've got to see what that looks like in a minute. Oh, oh that, is, that, looks like. that is crazy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and and then we've got the, this bumper. Uh, I'll take this one off as well so we can see what it looks like. Uh, so, all right, so I'll go back to the... Um, I'll take it up to the surface, then we can get the camera to look around it so you can see. Oh, so that's your, your standard out the box. This is what it looks like stock out the box. So this is this is stock. So I didn't realize that these circular things on the side, I thought they were airlocks. They do look like airlocks. Mm. So this yellow paint, this is the stock. So when you get your when you get yours, this is what it's going to look like. All right, so then what we can do, I'm going to seal that secondary option on the ship case because that's got me intrigued. Uh, livery. Yeah, but it's tiny feet at the back. It's good mm. leg day. <laughs> now you want a green one with a crop duster ship case. <laughs> That'd be cool. Maybe that's what the that back bit will look like. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that paint job back on. <laughs> I, I, I like that paint job. It is a good paint job, yeah. And then we'll go to the ship kits. Uh, the wings. So we've got two options for wings. Little wings, big wings. I'll put the little wings on. Yep. And then we go back it to fins. the tail. These things, whatever that is. So look at that. What that's going to do. And then for the bumper, we have Be the huge. little bumper. So you got the, that bumper or this bumper? Which did you have last time? The other one. All right, okay. Uh, so let's see what this looks like. Take this back up to the surface. Then I'll take it off and then we'll see, see if these things move around. So, so that's interesting, isn't it? They've got these things. Like, what are they, even? And they're clearly... Yeah, the fins. So like, clearly, they've got a different... They've got some new new uh, designers coming, haven't they? Yeah, so you, you've got the three kits that have holes in them now, the three pieces mm. that have slats in. Yeah. So that's let's it. see if these do anything when you take off. Uh, oh, did you see that little uh, pulse there from the engines? Yeah, um, that's the that second time it's been compared to the U-Wing from Rogue One, and it does mm -hmm. look quite a lot like it. I'd forgotten the U-Wing, I just looked it up this evening, I thought, oh yes, yes it does. Very pretty ship. I don't think these wings actually move. I think you might be right. But what we'll do is we'll turn around and watch it land and see if they do. Yeah, if they if they'd moved out or something, that would be maybe a bit better. But so let's go stocking. See what it looks like now.
a link uh, in chat to um, it's the designer talking about des designing the U-wing for Rogue One. An interesting little video. Hmm. So those engines, they move in together. Yeah, they stack up nicely, otherwise you couldn't get those little missed leg day feet to work at the back. Yeah, it's but, very close to the ground there. Yeah, but these wings don't move at all. Like the oh, so they stay fixed? Yeah. They stay fixed, yeah. That's curious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if they moved. They are kind of small. But that does suggest that they're not air brakes. No. Well, I think the other ones were air brakes. Mm. These ones aren't, though. These ones are just sort of stabilizers. Right. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lake on Type 8, the newest ship coming on Wednesday to Elite Dangerous. And uh, I'll certainly be picking it up. It's quite capable. Uh, it's the most stable um, Super Cruise uh, Overdrive ship in the game. And uses hardly any... Well, for what it's doing, uses hardly any fuel. And uh, I'm very impressed with it. Took it mining today, and it was fun doing that. Other ships can do it easily, but this can get there to these remote uh, asteroid belts a lot faster, so you could probably be more productive. But, you know, let's see how it does. Let's see what the rest of the community make of this. I personally really like it. Uh, let's see what the rest of the community have to say for, for different activities. So everyone's got their own take on it. But I think this is where I'm going to love you and leave you. And so thank you so much to everybody for coming along today and uh, making this Sunday special. And we will be back on Wednesday for another um, stream. So it'll probably be the conclusion or you know do some more work on the no man's sky um expedition on sunday we'll be picking up some more elite dangerous and see what's going on with the engineering but that will be on the main account so people will be able to come and join so feel free to come and join the private group if you want to if you want to come join in, in any activities we're doing we always do it in a private group um everyone's welcome until they're not no one's had to be kicked out yet don't be the one <laughs> but uh, that's that's the general ethos that we have so let's see who else is playing um some elite dangerous and i'll send all the love over so thank you to all the raiders who came in that was really kind uh thank you so much for that uh who who do we have we have got stargoid uh is playing some elite dangerous and i think we go raid stargoid it's been a been a little while. Stargoid is wonderful. Stargoid is wonderful. Uh, that so, is a continuation of drops, if you'd like. And it is, yeah. So Stargoid is a partnered streamer. So if you haven't got your drops watching me, then you can get them, continue the time and get them um watching Stargoid as well. So have a good time, flight aimless, take care of yourselves, have a really good rest of your week. And I shall see you on Wednesday and Sunday. So Pressing some buttons. Ah, this has been absolutely lovely. Right, where's my mouse? All right, pressing buttons. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>